All right, ladies and gentlemen, live here with the Unruly Cast, episode two, starring Horns and the returning star, Bell. And we got three topics for you all today, um, very spicy ones indeed. Um, and I want to first start off by introducing our guests. Uh, so, Bell or Gabe, one, two, you guys can start. Let uh, the Audience, know who you are. Who is Horns? Who is Hell's Bells? Uh, I'll go first because Horns is a cinch. But yeah, I'm just, I'm just kidding. My name is Hell's wrong. Bells. <laughs> I'm a 21 year old black and queer streamer. I play a lot of FPS, I play a lot of uh, Apex, a lot of Valorant, and I've been streaming for a little over a year now. And I have a uh, around like six thousand cumulative follows on all of my social media accounts. Sheesh! That's a flex. Oh my god! That gosh. content's real good. I promise you that. Oh my god! <laughs> That's crazy. Oh man! All right. So who's horns? Who's horns? Horns. I'm trying to figure that out myself, actually. Um, horns. He is a 24 fucking metalhead streamer. Been going on streaming about a year now, guys. Um, we're on a little bit of a hiatus, but it's what it is. I do a lot of variety games, a lot of horror games, story games, a lot of Apex, a lot of dying in Apex. You want to see that? You want to see some bot content? Check me out, you know, right here. Um, carrying unruly on his back sometimes, though, you know. It's That's facts. Facts and cap. Facts and cap. <laughs> facts we're all about, you know, just vibing out, safe place. Everybody could be here, you know. No more judgment, no nothing about that, man. I like to hear it, like to hear it. All right. Represent. I judge you for being a Watson main, though. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fun. <laughs> dude, imagine being a Watson main. Imagine. It's crazy, dude. Imagine. Dude. Someone has to someone has to drop the the, the Watson ult and block the nade. Someone's got to do the dirty work. Yeah, dude. You think I'm going to let you get your Valk tactical off for free? You gotta work for that. That's true. That's true. Randy, you gotta that go a little bit higher, homie. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. All right, so everyone, today's topics, we got three spicy topics for you guys today. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a format change. Um, we're going to do 10 minutes of uninterrupted time on the topic for each of our uh, stars here. Um, and the three topics of today are dating and gaming in the content industry, you know, e-dating, uh, your waifus on the internet. Um, we have embarrassing moments on stream and or uh, in the workplace as a little fun topic, uh, shits and giggles. Um, and then topic number three is esports, gaming, content, clan, organizations, you name it. Um, what's important about them, your value as a content creator, and the value of being, being part of an organization. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's the topics for the day. Uh, thank you again, Horns and Bell, for joining me today. Uh, episode two of the yeah, Unruly nice. Cast podcast. And if you guys are ready, we can get right into it. Okay. Nice. So how do we get the ball rolling here? What are we doing? Uh, you guys can rock, paper, scissors for all I care. Rock, We're paper, talking scissors. dating in the gaming and esports content space. Uh, our first one, if you want. Volunteers or rock, paper, scissors? Because I'd love to see the camera delay on the rock, paper, scissors battle. <laughs> uh, I'll go first. I'll go first. Um, go all right, so in 10 here. uninterrupted minutes. Tell us how I feel about it. Is it, like, is it respectable? Is it a legitimate thing to e-date? Uh, breaks up, breakups, like, people get canceled. On my timeline in Apex, it's either hot or cold in Apex dating space. So... If you want to give us our give us your point of view, um, maybe some weirdos, some simp's uh, in your DMs, any weird interactions to give us like an idea about it. Um, like I said, um, definitely want to hear it from your perspective because um, guys a little different compared to what girls have to deal with. People are weird on the internet, so uh, ten minutes your way, Bell. Let us know how it is. So. For e dating and stuff, I, I do think it's it's quote unquote valid, like it's a valid way of dating. But the way that people go about it nowadays is a little much. For example, like uh, I am very popular on TikTok and I have a pretty active Discord. 
So, like, people come into my Discord and they friend me, and I'm like, that's okay. And then I have, like, a couple people who have been, like, messaging me every day, even if I ignore them. Like, I have a couple people who are like, I love you, like, right from the, like, get-go, which has been, like, really insane to deal with, because I was kind of just like, <laughs> you love me? Bro, like, I, I don't think I've ever even seen your face. Like, I don't even know who you are. And, like, uh, one of the things about it is, like, those parasocial relationships where people build up this idea of a relationship with you, and then, like, they start talking to you, and then they get mad when that idea of the relationship they had with you wasn't real. So it's, like, I have people who are, like, who have before gifted me a lot of subs, or, like, gifted me a lot of donos, um, have always been in stream, and then, like, felt very, like, um, even, like, people, like, uh, well, hold on, before I go on, even people who I've collabed with who have, like, ended up, uh, really, like, quote-unquote, falling for me, or feeling like they own me, in a sense, which is really, really weird, and, like, really, really odd, and when I finally establish those boundaries, like, the fallout can be catastrophic, like, I got, um, this guy, I, I basically... Like, we had a close relationship, and then I figured out that he was kind of a little bit more malicious in that relationship. Um, he, as soon as I expressed boundaries and stuff, he deleted his entire social media, uh, stopped talking to all of his friends, all of our mutual friends, and then proceeded to hate raid uh, several of my friends who were involved, and my own Discord. Uh, as well as, like, um, before I was able to block him and his other accounts on TikTok, he would mass report my TikToks and my TikTok lives so that I would get banned uh, on TikTok live and I would get, like, posting bans on TikTok. And so it was, like, really bad. And there's uh, so many stories that I, I have shared with, like, my friends and they have shared with me of guys doing simu- sim- similar things where it's also like I'm being nice to you you owe me your entire life which is like rather intense and it's something that like when guys are like oh yeah females have it stream have it easier on streaming like females um you know are going to be more popular females are sh- taking my viewers like sure we get a lot of people coming in because we're quote unquote cute but like they don't talk about how you get constantly harassed, like, for nudes. You, they don't talk about how you get constantly harassed because you're not giving a guy a certain amount of attention that he thinks he requires. Or, like, you're getting, like, just constantly bombard- bombarded with, like, dick pics. Like, dude, the amount of dick pics I've received since I've started streaming is astronomical. It's fucking r- ridiculous. Like, people, like, people that I thought I was cool with, and then all of a sudden, just bam. And I'm just like, whoa, what the fuck? How did we get here? Like, I, we were talking about Apex two minutes ago, and now I see a picture of your schlong on my fucking, like, monitor. Like, bro, what the hell? Like, it's, it's so absolutely, like, intense and, like, crazy. But, like, um, something that's, like, a little bit different for me than it is for most people is that I am polyamorous, meaning I, uh, me and my partner both date multiple people, and that's something that we're okay with. So it's like, even though we have like some of those creeps, I have developed like some very intense emotional relationships with people on the e date, like I'm e dating basically, uh, because I've created those relationships with some of those people, and uh, I don't want to say that all e dating or all interactions on streaming is gross. I'm saying, like, the majority of it is, but there is, like, pockets full of sunshine, in a in a sense. You know what I mean? Like, I, uh, there's definitely relationships I would have never had if it wasn't for streaming, and I do appreciate that, but also what I don't appreciate is the amount of schlongs I've seen since I started streaming that I didn't want to see. <laughs> so, like, and, like, you guys could laugh at that, like, that's okay, but, like, it, it's it's pretty wild that people 
like or like yeah i watch this streamer girl like all the time and i love her so much she must love me because i've given her five hundred dollars worth of subs or if i've done this and done that and i'm like no that's not how it works <laughs> Like, just because you give me your money doesn't mean I have to, uh, give you my body, give you my time, etc. Unless it's, like, some part of a goal thing that I set up. Or, like, you know, like, you do this, I do that, like. But if you just give it to me without me asking, without me saying anything, like, my, you know what, what you, what you think is happening between us is, is not what is actually happening. And I think that's a lot of, uh, a thing that a lot of guys don't understand is like uh what they may be thinking is going on or what may they may be thinking is happening isn't actual reality because of just like whether they're lonely whether they're dealing with their own mental health issues it's like they they just create this different reality in their mind and it's like no that's no, that's not what's happening. Um, I've had like even bigger content creators um, who are like have like hundreds of thousands of uh, followers and and make a lot of money content creating, and like they're like I'm nice to you, so uh, you know give me your attention or give me your like photos of yourself and like everything and it's really really. It's that that's a lot harder than like the guys who give me money. I feel like because uh, a lot of people get caught up in like, oh yeah, they're bigger than me. I want to keep them around, and then you get stuck in this like, well, I'm uncomfortable with the situation, but you know this has been really helping me on my stream, or this has been really helping me on like, um, like content creation, and you get kind of like, oh shit, what do I do? type of thing and uh, I've had that a couple times but at the end of the day it's so much better to just be like you know what I'm uncomfortable with the situation I'd rather just earn it on my own than have your help even if you are a bigger creator and there's a lot of bigger creators out there who did not like to, to hear me say that <laughs> but you know at the end of the day I choose my my sanity over uh, their feelings usually so Gotcha. Uh, that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, uh, the, the the whole schlong thing. I honestly expected a comment yeah, to I, be made like that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just hoping the dick sizes match the KDs because, dude, <laughs> if you are shrimping it up and your KD is not higher than a one, dude, there's nothing to impress IRL or in game, man. The the strangest one I received was probably no bigger than the size of my thumb so that one freaked me wait are they all f like like that guy was f that guy was flaccid no that no that guy was, was, was flaccid up. <laughs> no that guy was up and it was there's flaccid. no that guy was up and had a thumb man yeah. was pitched <laughs> like that's uh, no, dude. That's Urban Dictionary and search up uh, Chode. Yeah, that's yeah, dude. Dude, they're Literally. like <laughs> I'm about to pull up a Webster's Dictionary and it's just a picture of this. Yeah. Yeah, it's just bricking it up with the thumb. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's actually. That's why you measure from the back, bro? That's why you measure. Yeah, there's two back. inches in there and behind there somewhere. Yeah. yeah so I expected. Like... I honestly expected the dick pics you brought up because I feel like every unfortunately oh, yeah. every female content creator ends up dealing with that because there's always that one weirdo on the internet there's always that person that just doesn't get social cues it's like dude like you have like a celebrity weird, crush weird. you're she's an, that person's an online entertainment the other person the streamer you're watching is online entertainment and there is nothing more behind that screen that you're watching on and it's just like dude you gotta get a grip yeah um, like, honestly, it's, guys it's are a little different because usually usually we're not the ones getting attacked usually the guys for for instances that I know of or have been a part of, it's usually the guy that's the offender. I have yet to hear a story other than a story of my own that I have to where I was aggressed by the opposite gender as a content creator. Now, in my personal story, my personal experience, I actually got catfished. I actually got catfished. 
Um, it was back in my Call of Duty days. Um, it was during Modern Warfare 2019 when it came out. So this was two, almost three years ago. Um, it's a person. Picture, the girl looked great. Picture looked great. And I was getting I was getting hit on in stream, in chat, through Twitter, yada, yada, yada. Um, multiple pictures um, I received, all the same person. Uh, of course, I didn't know um, who exactly, like, I never met the IRL, of course. Um, but I ended up finding out that it was, um, I had tuned into their stream one time, because they were always in my stream. I was always streaming at the time uh, with my schedule. I was like, I think it was during like the beginning of COVID where I was streaming 10, 12 hours a day just because I had nothing else to do. Um, and I visited their stream for the first time and I heard a male voice, male voice. And I was like, oh, who's the guy? You know, like brother, sibling, someone I haven't met yet. Well, it turns out it was actually um, a uh, gay gentleman um, impersonating as a female and interacting with me through Twitter and stream. Um, so it wasn't that like I was attacked in any way. It was kind of like that betrayal. It's like you, you just met the person and they choose to lie to you first because they're like scared. I guess he was scared to like, I don't know how cat, I don't know the reasons behind catfishing because I've never liked the idea. I've seen the TV show, the reality show, um, like Catfish Hunters. I, I think that's literally what the show is called or something, but I've watched it. I'm like, dude. No, it's just called Catfish. Is it just Catfish? Yeah. And I'm like, dude, it's like, What? like why like why like i get it that people are like oh they might not like me or whatever but like you gotta add, fuck it we ball you know you either send the <laughs> you, you send the the voice line uh the the catchphrase and start it up or like the person chose to lie to me um and i thought it was a girl for the longest time they were like they i got subs and stuff but it wasn't like anything crazy money wise but it was just like damn I got catfished for someone that I thought was was cool. Um, it, through my friend groups and communities, I've seen a lot of online dating go really, really well. Seen people meet IRL, and I'm jealous as fuck. I'm like, damn, where where's my queen at, dude? Like, but at the same time, it's like Twitter's not Twitter's not Tinder or Bumble or Christian Mingle, the million dating apps. Twitter's not a dating app. But at the same time, you see all these people, like, meet up, play games together, and it's like, dude, that's fucking adorable. And I just wonder where that is. And then on the flip side, you see content creators date each other, and then they cancel each other. They break up. Their communities are out and switch with each other. I literally just recently seen this through the Apex community. There is Apex streamer female, Apex come up pro player, not naming names, but they literally just adorable couple, right? Adorable couple, and then boom. It, like flip of a switch it was over they're at each other's necks my social media feed is it's either apex clips or amari needs to pull up that was my twitter feed for three days so i think e-dating is legitimate it's adorable to see the good stuff out of it but at the same time i'm like dude i play with a lot of female people uh creators meaning um yeah people i don't want to uh, apex Apex, any game. I played a lot of games um, with female creators, um, and never once did I think I'm like, damn, dude, I'm trying to get in that. Like, dude, 50 subs over here just because, you know, I, I want a picture on Twitter, you know? So I've never been the attacker. I, I never will be, but I've seen it a lot on Twitter and through all of the other content creators. I've seen a lot of female content creators that are big, like, go through their ban like their unbanned requests it's the most absurd shit like i'm trying to see like your tits on stream the most absurd things in unbanned requests and i'm sure as more female creators move into the space they're gonna get that same shit and i just feel bad for them uh, and i hope that i never have to witness or a friend hopefully never has to continue witnessing such like it on a big scale i know bell you've been you have that panic button um, that we're still waiting on that video on to make. Still know, waiting on that video um, to where you shut off like any hate raids, anything disgusting and terrible on stream, that panic button. Um, I hope that people never have to use that. Um, and if they do have to use it, I hope it gets like, pros like produced industrially through the industry 
uh, like an application to like connect your socials to. That'd be cool if it was made like an app. It connects all your stream socials, and then just a click of a button, it could help any creator like that. Just I just wish people didn't have to deal with shit like that. Um, and unfortunately, females get that shit a lot uh, because of the space that they're in. Um, and I, I just wish it wasn't that way. Um, I haven't experienced anything outside of that catfishing that's happened. Uh, but I've seen a lot of online dating go south. Um, it's almost scary to even try to, like, if you actually do like someone and you think they actually like you, it's kind of scary to even try because you're on social media. Anything screenshot, posted, could be taken the wrong way. If someone really wants to take you out, cancel you or whatever, it's definitely possible. So, like, I recommend if someone actually, like, if two people actually do like each other, like, keep it off social media. Keep it IRL. Because, like, dude. Even even if you end on, like, a positive note with each other, people's communities take that shit the wrong way. And I've seen it happen before. Like, with the Pokimane stuff. Um, Amaranth, she's a big one. Like, dude, you probably have to sign an NDA if you talk to her outside of stream. Because, <laughs> like, holy shit. Because of her, on, like, her online content the the what she, what she streams uh, dude i can only imagine the sad shit she has to deal with and it wouldn't surprise me if there's like a legal team behind talking to her outside of streaming because holy shit she probably has to go through <laughs> so much um so yeah uh, that's my experience real quick i just want to say like i think part of the issue is that guys like that who are like the attackers like you were saying mm -hmm. um they don't see women as people. Same as you know what I mean? hot objects. Yeah, like they see something like, like oh, that. I give you money, to give me sex, like because you, it's a transactional thing. They're yeah. they're not a person with feelings who may or may not want to have sex. It's I'm paying you, you give me your body <laughs> because your body is an object. It's not like. I'm not trying to be friends with you because I can only be friends with guys because guys are the only people with personalities or whatever. And it's like... Every day is for the boys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I definitely agree with the transactional thing. Unfortunately, people need to get a damn grip. Yeah, and, and, it's... And I don't... And I don't... Like, I don't judge sex workers. I want to make that clear now before I make the next statement. I don't judge sex workers or yeah, women yeah. that are, like, confident with their body. I don't judge them at all. Like, you strut your shit. Like, you got you. But I don't think, like, OnlyFans content as, like, as a content creator, like, on other platforms doesn't help with, like, creating that, like, regular, like, human interaction like hey like just met at a coffee shop kind of deal you know so it's not that only fans is a bad thing but i don't think when it comes to as a female content creator guys don't get that that's that and then she does this as well so it's like oh well yeah. she has an only fans she's really confident about her body well I, she should be fine if i dm her something absolutely disgusting or shit she makes lingerie content it's, what's behind the boxers you you want to see what's there like i don't think i don't think like i said I'm, i don't think sex work is bad like you do you that's your that's your income you're confident in yourself better than i am shit you rock that but guys definitely need to like realize that like if they if she's doing this and she's doing this on the side like there's boundaries you got to respect those dude like yeah she does that that's her way of making money but she doesn't want you she don't need you, apparently. Yeah, I'm saying it's the same. It would fall into the same subject as... Because, yeah, it's the same switch with their actual job. You don't go harassing someone at their job because, you know, they fucking are, they're, they're a stripper on the side. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you don't go up to them asking them for a lap dance at the agency that they work at. No, nah, so she's why... a realtor there. Exactly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like she's, uh, she's selling houses sad, and shit, dude. man, over here. It's sad, dude. Sad. Yeah, and people just don't yeah. have that boundary. People yeah, people don't, don't understand that boundary. Mm -hmm. They don't see it. They just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until they feel attacked. And then that's when like the real insecure ones come out because when they feel attacked, they try to turn it. 
you know mm-hmm. they're always like oh it's mm-hmm. this and that you know? um and like it, i've seen a lot in plenty of communities especially like the big ones like pokimane sunny day that's why she, sunny day actually was part of the reason she retired from, from all that because she did want to do that on the side but there's too much going on on twitch you know what i mean right um and and it sucks for a lot of people um female streamers who are trying to up and come with all that in the streaming community because when they start to grow then people see that or guys see that a lot as oh she, the classic she's getting views because she's got titties you know she's uh doing this and that she's a female so it's easy for her you know um despite the amount of content or hard work that they're actually putting into it you know they could have a straight face they don't even have to have face cams and they still get harassed you know it's true it's, um it's it's just actually disgusting it's like it's shit. like the I valorant be- community where they hear the girls like voice Literally, yeah. exclusively Valorant. I, I swear, you hear the gamer girl voice, or you see it the most in Valorant. It happens in COD and other shit, but female voice. It's like, dude, why you gotta instantly be a dickhead? Yeah, I, I've never understood that either. I'm like, what triggers you in that manner? Like, what? I, I've never understood that. What, what what just pops you off to go off and say these slurs and the worst possible things? Is- not just be said to a girl, just anybody in general, like like straight up going to kill, you know, end themselves and whatnot. And it's just I, I I've never understood the mindset behind it of why guys ever actually do it. No, I I they never, never they never show themselves in real life though, not as much as they do on the internet. Hide behind your Something. monitors, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is like they uh. They they say all that right like you know girl talks and they're like you know oh I'm not oh, gamer girl whatever you know what I mean say sex is bullshit and then they turn around and go and tweet be like where's my gamer girlfriend Ew, yeah. the hypocrisy is cringe oh the <laughs> hypocrisy is cringe oh I'm so glad you brought that up because like dude like uh you wonder why you don't have a gamer girlfriend because every girl gamer you come across you call her a fucking slur yeah. like <laughs> yeah they yeah, see it in your fantasy. That's your fantasy, that. sir. Uh, like the, the memes and all the shit that they post, because like I post that stuff too. But like, dude, you'll never catch me like uh, I'm sitting here defending myself rather than attacking. Because it's like, oh, simp, simp, oh, gamer girl, e girl, buff. I'm like, I'm like, hello, dude. We just loaded up Valorant. <laughs> Apex random. Her boyfriend's on the couch next to her, dude. Get a grip. Yeah. Get a grip. Dude, she's got more kills than you. Like, hello. <laughs> I'm like, dude, oh. like, so she's top of the leaderboard. You're bottom. So inappropriate, man. That reminds me. There was actual study going around uh, that men who in games mm-hmm. who like dog on women and say that they suck because they're a chick. Because they have small usually dicks. Usually, are well that usually uh, <laughs> are awful at the video games. Like they're really really bad. Like and the good the guys that are good at the video game never say that shit. The guys that are bad at the good video games always say that shit. And the guys who are bad at the video games, when it's a guy that's better than them, they're just like, oh my god, you're so amazing, daddy. Like, oh my god, like they start praising them. But for girls, it's like you suck, you suck, you're a stupid bitch. Like blah 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 blah. You're not even that good. So it's like every time some guy comes into like my chat or like comes into my TikTok comments, it's just like. You're so bad, like quit being a streamer, blah 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 blah. And I'm just like, oh, so your heart stuck gold for six seasons in a row. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Snapchat, sir. Got him. It says right here. That's <laughs> crazy. I, I need to see an article of that because, like, dude, I'm gonna. <laughs> dude, I, got you, I, I gotta see that article because, like, <laughs> it's like you gotta get that fucking piece of paper out. You're just like, all right, dude. This says based right on here, this, you your rank is right here, dude. Oh, that makes sense. You got a thumb. Yeah, he's got the thumb, man. He's got the thumb. He quit. Oh, my gosh, dude. That's actually sad. There's no, that's like, that's like women in sports kind of deal. Like, you just lose, like, your yeah, sense of masculinity is attacked. So you're like, oh, she's better than me at this game. Oh. I uh, think that That means she's got to go in the other, kitchen. Though. It's like, like how you, exactly how that report said that, um, they're very bad at the game is you know people who do that to kids to 
to women in the video game industry, it like feeds into each other. It feeds that insecurity, so you feel tough and you feel accomplished when you attack someone who you know is kind of more vulnerable at the at the moment. You know. You can link it to me in Cord. Like. I did, and I also just put it in chat too. Uh, chat blocks it. Oh my bad. <laughs> nah, it's okay. You know, the I'm tired of seeing the buy viewers and followers bullshit. Oh, they're nice. Or, or people... Like you ever get Rick rolled? You see the top comment streamers, They're even their mods get involved. And they're like, yeah, dude, this was insane. You should actually... Like, this is good content. And it's fucking Rick Gastly, bro. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah nobody's doing that to me. It's a lot of Destiny community shit. Trainer got me one time, dude. Trainer got me one time, and bam, link's gone. Lost permissions. <laughs> Chat ain't getting links no more, dude. <laughs> You, you could join the Discord and send it to me there. Yeah, I'm getting a Rickroll because I put on song requests uh, on my stream now, so people can request songs. Is it and through so YouTube? And Rickroll me. Uh, pretty much. It's through Wisebot. I through, do it through mm -hmm. Wisebot. Yeah. And so they do it. And, the, and then they just spam the chat so I don't see it. And, like, I'll be, like, mid-fight or whatever, so I'm not paying attention. And then, like, all of a sudden I'm getting Rickrolled, and I'm like, fuck you guys. <laughs> They're hey, like, jazz popping off. Wait, they're, like, they're getting third party. This is the perfect opportunity to request this song. Yeah. Hit her with the DMZA. <laughs> like, oh, she landed frag? This is going to be a sweaty one, chat. Get your channel points ready. Oh, that's, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, but yeah, um, I don't know if you have a personal experience, uh, Gabe. Uh, that you wanted to share, or you got your spiel. I, I feel like we were pretty open about those 10 minutes, so, uh, yeah. if you have anything really important I mean, the guy get off your chest, it's there, or we could we could continue the Rick Astley and talk about, um, embarrassing stream moments, uh, cause I got stuff that chat can see that's, dude, I was a knucklehead two years ago. <laughs> I was a knucklehead. Yeah, nothing really as far as any, like, significant uh, events that happened as far as that. Um, but I mean, even from a guy's perspective, it's just there's not much to say on it because it never happens to us. It really doesn't. Yeah, I don't. Like I said, like, I don't recall um, other than my own personal experience with the catfishing um, of like guys typically getting attacked. I mean, usually we're all always nasty to each other, anyways. So I've never heard of a female like going in and like harassing a guy like that. It's possible. I'm not saying it can't happen. But I personally can't account for it. If that's happened to someone before, has that happened to one of the boys? Uh, I'm sorry you've dealt with that. Uh, it probably sucks just as much. I, I would not know, so I'm not going to pretend to know. Um, but another top, another like bit that I wanted to add to this uh, before we move on um, is gaslighting. Gaslighting, and I don't think the homies... When, like, a comedian said this once. Um, and it's like guys flirt differently to each other than they do to women. And if guys did the same thing, dude, we would get fucking locked up like the yeah. double standard of it. But like th the clip of the comedian was like this. He was like, he's like, you know, if, if, if guy if guys could talk to, to women the way they do to each other, like we would catch a case. But if a woman talked to me the way I flirt to my boys, I'd be so down. He's like, yeah, this this old lady be like, oh, you're cute, dude. I'd kidnap you. He's like, if I said that, I'm getting arrested on the spot. <laughs> but on the other side, it's like, dude, the, the way the, the boys talk, like the homies talk to each other, like, you know, you're watching this, you're listening to this, you fucking know. You're a simp to the homies. Yeah. I'm a simp yeah. to the homies. I will gas you up sky high, dude. Thing. Sky high, dude. <laughs> but it's like... At the same time, that gaslighting, that gassing up, that's like, yo, dude, that's your girl? That's your girl? Like, that instances can get you in trouble, too. And I've had I've had that happen with a couple female friends where it's like, like, dude, that that's not what the situation is. Like, we just play games, like, occasionally, like, once every three months. And I've actually, <laughs> I've actually had a female friend that actually doesn't even talk to me no more. And I think it's literally because of homie gaslighting. And it probably thinks that I'm weird. Okay. It just might be, dude. I think Gavin, Gavin, I think you know who I'm talking about, Gabe. And I think I exactly Gavin is the problem, dude. <laughs> he said one mommy daddy joke in chat and it's over, dude. It's over. I'm the weirdo. But the 14 year old that said it is not the weirdo. I'm the weirdo. So like, yeah. I had to get that off my chest. Is like, dude, like even if the guy, if even if it's the main person isn't like doing the gaslighting and the hitting on, 
don't your community this is to the communities man don't put your streamer on and make it look bad either like you got to rep you represent them too like you're in yep. their channel you do their content you're part of their community their family you got to wear a badge of honor too don't get your streamer in trouble don't get your streamer in trouble because they got a lot on their plate already they got to keep themselves out of trouble they don't need you that's like their it's like their best friend egging you on to do something illegal it's like don't do that man don't be that guy um, but yeah, any other closing arguments for you guys before we move on to the next uh, funny moments topic? And if I have to go first, I'll go first, just to ice break it. That's it for me. That's it for me, I think. You sure? Not, that was a, that was a hard topic for me because it's not like. Not I think the hard it. topic is I, the last topic because you don't run into it too often, huh? For me personally, no. But I've never known anybody. Other I can than you, I can you, definitely you, definitely you know? speak to it. And again, the reason, uh, the big reason for asking Bell to come back is because orgs are handled uh, differently with girls around, just the same way with online dating. Um, and I've had I've had female friends talk about their experiences with orgs, um, and it's pretty bad. Uh, so definitely want that to be represented um, on all parties as well. Um, but if either you want to go first about embarrassing moments, if not, I have two clips in chat. And we could get we go crazy. You go crazy. This is the funny segment. So I, oh man, I wish I was trying to find the clips, uh, night and day, and I just can't find them because Twitch, I guess, deletes vods and whatnot after some time. Um, but I, do you want to specifically talk about in game or just random, just whatever? Like whatever floats your boat. Um, actually, hold on. Let me control H. I actually found a website that's like Twitch Tracker, and you could probably really? find your clips if that's what you're looking for. If you want to like take a backseat on to. this, let me find it real quick. I mean, they're not uh, anything uh, crazy. It's literally like Twitch Tracker. I actually found it myself because I was looking for the comments of people like stealing my shit that I was talking about, like that clip from TikTok that like went viral. Yeah. Yeah, it's twitchtracker.com and then do slash, like backslash your stream and then backslash clips. Okay. Yeah, I'll check that out. Right I can put it in the cord too. Um, actually, I'll tweet it to you. Twitter DM. I'll put it in the uh, the channel, the uh, podcast episode group chat. Check that out. You might be able to find something there because I found a couple of mine and oh my gosh, dude. 19 <laughs> year old unruly dude I'd go back and punch that kid in the face Just because I knew he would laugh <laughs> Cause oh my gosh I'm a knucklehead uh, But Bell If you want to give uh, Gabe the relief effort To go find his content If you have something ready for me If not I'll go Like a clip or basically I was Clip or a funny it. story It could be from the workplace I'm going to share a workplace and two stream clips I'm going to be open about this because I think this is going to be funny I think this is the fun segment for us. So if oh, you yeah. have a story, go right ahead and and be the librarian. Because um, I got all night with this one. Basically, uh, I got, like, two, like, funny moments. Um, first moment was I was playing uh, with this guy. His name is Zaddy Squirt, if you guys... Yeah, uh, I know he is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, he's a great guy, like, awesome creator. Playing with him... And he's a Horizon main, if you guys don't know. So he's a Horizon main. Uh, we're playing together, playing uh, trios. It's just me and him. And uh, I see a Horizon get picked. I'm not really paying attention to the name. I see, you know, I get picked. And then, like, I, as the squad comes up, uh, there's a Watson who has one, I think, one kill on Watson. And I was like, oh my god, these fucking randoms, bro. Like, dude, like, one kill Watson, like, this hurts my soul. And then, like, he's like, Ayo, that's me. <laughs> and I was like... No way! Oh, no. I said the fucking name, and it was Zaddy. And it wasn't actually the random, the random was the Horizon. <laughs> and oh. I was like, I'm oh. so fucking sorry. And he took that clip, and he put it on his TikTok, and he said... When my favorite e girl uh clowned me like I got to play with my favorite e girl and like she clowned me uh on stream and I was just like no like 
the way that my entire like face just turned bright red and like everything and I was like daddy that was not my intention that was that's fucked that's so that oh, wow <laughs> like, I just fucking dude me. man these ta trash randoms he's like dude fucking did. <laughs> my bad for changing my legend Dude, that one kill, bro. <laughs> one kill is like, dog, your ass. Oh, that's, that's me, like, dude. Uh, that's like memeing on characters when you get paired with a big name pro player or something. <laughs> you know, I fucking stole my character. Oh my god, it's a pro player, dude. I know. <laughs> See how fast they switch up on you, man? Jesus. Dude, I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, dude, I feel so Because I think that was like the first or second time we like had played together. So oh, was first just, impression. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. First like, impression, oh. get absolutely clowned, dude. Sick, bro. I, I was like, my entire face just went like, mm, and I was just like, oh my god. Left click, block, user. No, just honestly, chalked thought, it up. I thought he was going to do it, but it was, it was so <laughs> Unfollowed, <laughs> blocked. Like, That's crazy. Honestly. And then uh, the second thing is like, I ac like accidentally ran into a game with my friends like they didn't stream snipe me like they were playing on their own they weren't even watching my stream i was just streaming and we queued up and we at landed at the same spot and i shit on two of my friends but the third one killed me but like and i was like talking mad shit i was just like man fuck that horizon stupid bitch like i was just like if i was healed up she wouldn't have died blah blah blah, blah. and then my friend comes in it's like oh my god that was us and i was like <laughs> oh oh man, dude, GG's, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, Please, bro. man. Fast oh, forward 30 like, seconds ago. <laughs> I, I was like, hey, let me end stream so I can delete this bot real quick. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I've done that in a so scrim. Cool. I've actually. I've actually hid my VOD because, like, I dogged on my boys, and because we're in anonymous mode all the time, mm -hmm. until like you win the game, you go back to VODs. Dude, I let the I let one of my boys have it, bro. I was talking mad shit, and yeah. I was like, "Oh, snap, dude! Like that's the homie. He shit on me." Cause you know, oh <laughs> you always got people that are absolute assholes to you, talk shit, no reason, yada yada yada. But it's like when you bring it out of game, and then you realize it's a homie. It's like, damn, dude. I that was not me. It wasn't me. Yeah. Imposter. I was just like, I felt so bad, but I was just like, look, y'all, I, I hit you 98 to the head with a PK. I'm sorry, but my ego was going. He's like, not going to lie. <laughs> you still got shit on, but. Yeah, like, yeah roll, I'm sorry. Grain of salt, yeah. grain of salt. Grain of salt. Yeah, I, was, I just felt so bad, but like, they were such a good sport about it. They were like, no, 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 no you understand. And I was like, y'all were talking shit too, hun. They were like, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, talking yeah. Shit, uh. Happy wholesome <laughs> shit talking story. Yeah, we love those. We love those. But like, I just, my face went like, oh, uh -oh. Like, whoa, oh, uh, I got ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> I only called you like a handful of cuss words. You know, it's like you, you you get one minute after the 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 fight, you know. Yeah, you know, you just kind of say everything. And I was like, what'd you say about my mom though? And I was like, hey, nothing. She's a very nice lady. She's a very nice lady. No, that's funny. Dude. Uh, that's funny. I didn't say she could suck my nuts. Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. you know? No, man. <laughs> oh, that ain't the package. That's, a, that's the other site, by the way. Link dude, in the bio. I was talking. Um, <laughs> Link in bio, dude. Link in bio. Oh, man. That's good. I like those stories. Those are good. Always. Yeah. Always. It's always mad shit and then it's actually like pull up the death feed it's the homie it's like yeah dude fuck oh, shit. I meant it but I didn't mean it you know what I mean as long as you're not dragging it on when people drag it on that's when I'm like dude alright you're being a dick yeah it's like alright fucker now Not me once dude <laughs> yeah dude don't make me beat you up IRL like touch oh check me at TwitchCon you know what I mean if Apex yeah, yeah. if you Apexers <laughs> now dude te TwitchCon dude Thousands of dollars to lose to me, <laughs> dude. That clip is legendary, <laughs> dude. The guy stopped. Ah, dude, I don't remember. So the TwitchCon clip was I was talking about Designful, a uh, pro player for G2. He's like, yeah, dude. He's like, dude, you suck. Check me out, quit TwitchCon, dude. But uh, there's a clip. <laughs> there's an there's a COD clip out right now. Um, 
it was a LAN. I forget where the LAN was. It was a LAN event, and this kid apparently sent the same team packing, losing, beating them, back to back events, and he was talking shit to the team, and then he stopped and he's like, no, 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 no. Where is your owner? Turned around and told the guys like, bro, you spent thousands of dollars sending this team out here to lose to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most savage <laughs> shit ever, dude. Like turning around, you're like, I don't even give a shit about the team anymore. I already know you're horrible. Where's your boss? Where's your owner, Where's your owner dude? <laughs> you just oh, let bro. grown ass man. This kid's like, dude, you just blew two grand to lose to this 16 year old, bro. And he's like, dude, I, I'd, <laughs> I'd smack fire. Like fired too, because I remember that clip. Yeah, oh, dude, that shit I, was I lost my fucking clip, hilarious, I was like, he's like, where's your owner? You spent lose thousands of dollars to me. <laughs> Literally, I want to go pro just so I can say that shit. Yeah, that'd be funny, like, dude. I would even know, got a pro for that. Dude. Oh my gosh, I have, I have a friend. Um, back in my car, his name was Nelson. Like this guy was known for his in-game shit talk. And there's a land, <laughs> there's a land that he was playing with these guys for the first time when he went to this land. And he stood up on main stage after shitting on this team. And he's like, you practice this. You practice this. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, dude, I've never done this. You practiced. You practice. He's just off of a whim, bro. He just drives over and starts playing for him. He's like, dude, this team that flew over there. So it flew over. He's like, dude, you guys practice this. You still lost to me. This is funny. This, that's, that's a good shit talk. That's good. Dude, that's mad. <laughs> I remember shitting on like this master squad. I was playing with, I don't know who I was playing with. I was playing with somebody. I was playing with Ducky. And like, like I shit on them. 3v1, like they all just fed my fucking R301. I felt good res and they came into my stream and they were like, your ass heart stuck like plat. Like, cause that was before I even hit like diamond. And I was just like, yeah, heart stuck plat and you still got shit on by me guys. So I don't know. I don't know who the fuck you guys think you Sorry. are coming to my chat like that, bro. Uh, and they're like, 1v1 me. And I was like, I already did. And you lost. <laughs> <laughs> All three of you. All three of you. Yeah, oh, like, Lord. It was just so fucking funny, dude. Yeah, like, it's I great. I was just like, dude, like, there's so many guys who will come and be like, your ass, your ass. And I was just like, yeah, well, you know what? Who's in the lobby and who isn't? Yeah, for the end of the day. <laughs> that's like uh, that's like the saying with uh, never meet your heroes or whatever in the streaming community. There's times oh, where yeah. I've killed Apex players and streamers. And I'm like, dude, that was him. This fucker's cracked. And you can tell. <laughs> you can tell when you're trying to kill someone. They're sweaty, dude. Like the movement. They're ain't. You know, it's a sweat when you see a sweat. And that's your one of your favorite players. You're like, dude, wow. I know that guy. That guy's fucking cracked. And there's yeah. times where they've come into my chat and they're like, trash. I'm like, <laughs> homie. Two minutes they ago, won't. I was I was <laughs> vouching for you to go to God. <laughs> Like oh, we were in a heaven and hell situation. Team. I was like, dude, I just vouched yeah. for you for three minutes straight. I was riding you. I was riding you. It, trash, you. trash. I'm like, dude. Uh, no fucking shit. Uh, yeah, for a minute, <laughs> dude. Uh, I just vouched for you for heaven and hell. I, I vouched for you, man. You're going places. Trash. Fucking trash. Hog oh, shit. Well, like it's it's like. People I thought were homies and competitive, and like I killed them, and like dudes like, oh, this we should have lost these guys. These guys suck. And then it's that one motherfucker that's talking for thirty minutes straight, talking shit to his chat. I'm like, dude, yeah, dude. That's, I thought we, I thought we gotta, was boys. I thought we was boys. You gotta do something before he ranks back into gold too. Dude, this guy is yeah, in competitive dude. and never hit masters. He's been always in diamond, dude. Always a diamond. No masters, no preds. Still talk shit. Ain't making it this Hello? season. What the fuck. <laughs> He's ratting right now. That's what he's ratting for RP right now. <laughs> Those are good stories. Those are always good ones. You got your material, Gabe or Bell? You got any more stories for us? Um, I got. I actually have an old YouTube clip from GTA 5 that was actually one of the most fucking hilarious things I'd ever seen in a video game ever because it was so unplanned. Um, but I wanted. To, there was a clip I couldn't find from back when we were playing. We were all me, you, I think it was me, you, Void, and someone else. We were all playing custom zombies. Uh, and we were oh. we were gone. We were gone, but I was further. <laughs> further gone I than think, you guys. I think were. it was Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. Yeah. Uh, the Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. I I, yeah, I we think were... I remember this. 
one of those we um, shit faced with the boys. Yeah, it was it was really bad, and I had known it was really bad because I put down my drink, my last drink that I had drank, and there was seven cans on the empty cans on the table, and I had not realized. Um, <laughs> Medella so, just yeah, close to the veins. Yeah, we're just progressively going through this, you know, man. Just chilling. I'm sitting there. It's all stumbles. Like, yeah, man, it's uh, having fun. I end up going fucking down, right? And these guys are just doing their thing. Yeah, they're all everybody slurring. Oh, man, what did you go do? We're all doing the meme. Oh, you go very good, man, right? And um, I come over here and I reach for an empty can that I thought was full, and I actually knock it over. So me naturally turn to my chair. I look down. And I said, "Oh shit, chat." I lean down, you can see it on camera, and it's the whole chair comes with me. You hear a big ass slam. And <laughs> Dude, I remember that, that. was it. He For ate five... shit trying to pick and... up the can. <laughs> I got the can too. I had it and I stood there and I fell. <laughs> but that's not the best part. The best part is I did I laughed. You can hear on stream, I laughed. And I was gone for ten minutes. I fell asleep. Right after I hit the floor, <laughs> I had the chair on top of me. My hand was like that. The cans were all over the floor. I fell asleep. Wall Street was going on for 10 more minutes. Dude. And I just get up randomly like, I fell over, guys. <laughs> I remember that. Like, dude, Void and I went into your stream and we're like, dude, dude. he's out. He's yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> like, that not only like... did we hear him fucking eat shit. But when we went to his stream, we're like, dude, he's <laughs> out. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, that was was, that's golden, dude. I forgot. It. That's, that was fantastic. That's a gem. That was a gem. That was probably one of the best things that I ever happened. That, like, that was just fucking wild to me. That was so funny the oh. next day. <laughs> dude, that's a gem, dude. If, if we get a clip or a VOD of that later I, on, dude, yeah. for post-production, if you got that, dude, I would love to put it in the edit. I would love yeah, to because the, the shit I have somewhere. for you guys is definitely going in the edited version of this. It, dude, <laughs> just imagine it's like the it's like the Timmy memes or with uh, Timmy when he like finishes someone or throws them through a portal. It's like the pic the the meme of the guy getting thrown off the balcony. He crashes to oh, the table. Yeah. It's like one of those moments. He just cuts to you, just eat shit. <laughs> oh, dude, I've seen a, a lot one. of you. I've seen a lot of shit from you that. There's some, there's some been some moments with you that I know of, man. Dude, if you could pull them up and we have time for it, dude, I would love to go another round because I have two clips now that I, I actually have a chair clip. I actually have a chair clip. So we're not going to see you eat shit, but you're going to see me eat shit. Because <laughs> I do have a chair clip. I think I, oh, I know what you're talking about, dude, actually. I, dude. <sighs> this chair goes a while back. This chair goes a while back. <laughs> The, the brand and I, we go a while back, but this chair and I go a while back. So, if you guys have any more stories, the floor is yours before I take over. I just want to show this. This is my other clip that I did back in 2016, actually. You want to you want to share it on first... your screen? Yeah. This is one of my first... Can I share YouTube on my screen? You can... This uh, is my clip. Instead of webcam, instead of webcam, you could share oh, your screen. okay. So, this was back in... <laughs> 20, like I said, 2016, I believe. And we, you know, you do naturally doing GTA, you just fuck around, right? Uh huh. This was complete. This is all this is completely unplanned. Nothing was where anybody positioned, how anybody flew in or anything was just unplanned. I didn't know what was going to happen. Nothing. But watch, keep remembering this guy right here. Project Awesome, got it. Yeah, remember that dude. So I'm just chilling around because we were, we were, you know, we're just done killing each other. And we came all the way to this side of the map. My buddy was AFK, and he's coming in on a helicopter. He's like, don't shoot me down, man. Don't shoot me down. And I'm not playing audio because I don't have the mics on in this clip. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I got his ass. Watch this. Just randomly. I'm going to shoot him down. He's like, doing whatever. Doing whatever. This was probably oh, one of the funniest assist. things that I've ever seen. Aim assist easily. And I was like, yeah, I killed him. Look at this. Bing. Oh no! <laughs> no! Two for one special, dude! I gave him the fucking two for on accident and then it got on me! <laughs> oh my god. Your kids Bing. fail so much, just. Oh no. 
I was fucking crying. Heat seeking so missile this man and then the helicopter body wipes <laughs> out the home. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. If I hold on, I gotta hear the sound. I gotta turn the sound though, because he might be able to hear the dink sound. Oh, that might be muted. Hold on. No, I hear it. We hear it. No, I hear oh, you hear it? it? You're good. Okay. You're good. You're good. You said, there you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh the audio oh makes it better, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Bro, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I got that. Oh, Dude, man. That, that was... That's a TikTok, bro. Dude, <laughs> like a stream highlights GTA funny moments with like Vanoss in them, bro. That's one of those. Yeah, that's dude. a golden that clip, was dude. Back, that's That was huge. how I wanted to do it back then, but oh my god, that was so fucking funny. That was literally oh, one of the dude. best gaming moments I've ever had in my life. That's fantastic. That's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. It's a good clip. All right. Anything else before we go? Because I got I got two that are nice. I got two that are nice. That's pretty good. That's good. For That's now. a good one. That's a good one, dude. That's a banger. It's a banger. <laughs> All right, so we can start off with – we'll do my content one. Actually, yeah, we'll do my content ones, and then we'll wind down to the IRL one because there's one IRL story with work that I have. Um, Gabe, I think I told you guys – told you this before. But those who don't know, outside of content, I work at a subway – part-time yep that's right i'm a fucking sandwich artist dude what's up with it you make the insults to tell her to go do it dude i do it for a living okay get a grip <laughs> so that's me um and it, very interesting customer experience okay and i can't go into too much specifics because it's rather embarrassing like dude it's tough but we'll, we'll talk about it but i have two clips um I'll start with this one because it's cringe, okay? You guys are going to have to see it on stream. You guys see. Um, um, but this one, this one, I believe trainer clip. It is trainer. It's a trainer clip. <laughs> it's a trainer clip. Um, yeah, of course. <laughs> it's a trainer clip. Um, so th this one, this one, this is like, this is, we're going to ease into them because this one isn't that funny. But like those who know when I have like, I used to have viewer count on, right? So I would do the dumbest shit when I had the most people in my chat. Uh, and this clip's actually funny. Because, like... You know, like, the Fortnite dances and shit? Yeah. This is, like... This is back then. This is back then. Unruly. With Fortnite dances and shit. Alright, boys. I'm gonna call it on that one. Hopefully... See, wasn't that... Wasn't that more fun to wait just a little bit longer? Yeah, we got a dumb. We got a dumb. We got a juicy banger of a game. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> but then my sleep schedule gets fixed. Damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Look at all the crit. No, no, no. See, we're up. I'm out here dabbing. I'm fucking wiping snot <laughs> off my face on camera, dude. Just, you Bro. think I just ate the nastiest shit, dude. <laughs> dabbing. Waving, dude, I fucking like do some camera shit and, and flick myself to the camera. I'm just like, eh. I'm like, dude, this was 18, 19 year old unruly dude, and I'm wiping snot and drool off myself on camera, dude. Bruh. So I'm like, dude, that's bad. Like, that's cringe. That's cringe. Like, 30 year old unruly, when I see a Twitch highlight of me like years from now, I'm like, dude, that was not me. I'm gonna tell my eight year old child, I'm like, that was not your old man. <laughs> Fucking wipe the snot and shit off my him, face. Bro. Let him know, man. <laughs> oh my god. Um, and then this this is the chair clip, okay? Now th there's an edit to this. I I made it worse by adding an edit to it. So this is this is fantastic. This is this is more COVID unruly. Oh, uh, hold on. Okay. We were all different in context in COVID, man. <laughs> dude, we were just on some shit with content, dude. I so I made this a TikTok actually. I know we can act like plants. Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Wanna go to the park? <laughs> this is the greatest clip. <laughs> Dude, I'll run it back. Oh Dude, this is what was going through my head. And I thought I could wound my chair back the whole way and try to do it. 
Oh, dude. <laughs> my chair yet, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if it happened soon because drinking streams are about to be more a prominent thing. And oh, Dude, Lord, sure. I love drinking streams. But yep, there's me. There's a clip of me eating <laughs> shit falling out of my chair because I thought I could recline the whole way back, lift my feet up, which is the main weight of my body because I weigh 125 pounds soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> lift my legs up and there I go all the way back just eat shit because I thought I was Spongebob for a second <laughs> you are sh a string bean oh my lord yeah uh, it's bad. I remember yeah I did my boy the uh yeah, dude. boy it, struggling I, dude, I still struggle bro I still struggle you, you, look, you look kicked up though I see I'm trying. I'm trying thanks for thanks for thanks for the oh, gas yeah. but I, I'm trying it, it, it's hard oh yeah I'll teach man. you how to twerk when you squat yourself an ass <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I will pull up the e-girl clip, and you'll know I can twerk. No. I have an oh, e-girl clip. Oh, yeah. This from man can season like five, Apex, dude. I used to have, actually, oh, it's not down here anymore. I used I to have. That. I used to have a, a COD champs poster. It's like a whiteboard poster with all the teams on it, autographs, and it was on the wall, and it's a whiteboard marker. It's like an expo marker, and I did an e-girl impression. Where I'll, I'll edit this into the YouTube video of this, <laughs> but I put a towel over my head, like rolled it up so like it was hair falling down on one side, right? Pop the e girl impression, pop the squat on my bed, and did like that. I was like, oh my god, horns with the five gifted subs, and I talked to Remy too. Like, dude, I did. It was, was a funny great. shit. I fixed my webcam. I was like, my fucking boyfriend changed my webcam angle again. <laughs> Funniest shit, dude. I was like, oh my god. Seductive as all get out. I was wearing a fucking bath towel on my head. So if you're talking about twerking and rubbing and waving ass on stream, I have clips of it. Literally just standing in my chair. Wave an ass. Dude. I'm afraid to be like a hundred dollars about twerk on stream. Dude, I would, like, I, I would do it. I would do it. I would do it. Mom I didn't raise an idiot. Like, uh, I fun. dude. If the dono was there, I'd shake it. I'd shake it. So I actually have clips of that. That's funny. Shake my ass. Bucks, honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, dude. Come on, man. What's what's the worst that could happen? Hundred bucks ain't gonna give me a full thing of gas, man. Well, not nowadays. That's what the dude get the DeLorean. I'm saying. Get your rotten <laughs> vegetables and trash and just put it in the blender in the back of your vehicle. We don't need roads. Put on my liquid death cans and Mr. Fusion. Real yeah. shit, Leola Monster. liquid death co code horns at checkout. Code horns. We're waiting right. for that day. One day. Oh my god. It'll uh, happen. And then. <laughs> yeah. Sponsor. Hashtag yeah. Ad, hashtag, hashtag ad. Hashtag ad. <laughs> <laughs> For the record, not there. This video is not sponsored, so uh, get a grip, YouTube, when you scan this shit. Oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> this ratio is sponsored by this L plus ratio. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then so there's there's the two clips. I have so much, dude. I could go on. I'm an idiot on the internet, man. Idiot on the internet. <laughs> I'm an idiot <laughs> IRL too. It, dude. <laughs> Literally just spitfire clip, dude. Do you know how many people thought I was genuinely pissed? I was trolling, and these guys like, dude, mad cause bad. This guy's pissed, bro. Get go, go touch grass. I had someone's like, dude, never touched a female. I'm like, dude, where does this come from? You just you get you hear your favorite comedian make a joke. He's like, yeah, he gets no bitches. Dude, he's just being, <laughs> he's just trying to be funny, man. You gotta come at him like that. So I I it's fucking dumb. Um. But, um, you know the Cupid Shuffle, right? Oh, when yeah. I worked at McDonald's, that was my first job. I was still in high school. <laughs> and I was on night shift. And yeah. there's an older lady. Her name was Brenda. I did the Cupid Shuffle and got an old lady to dance with me, dude. On night shift, on camera, Cupid Shuffle. Dude, like, the the falling out of the chair, that was me. That was That was that version of Unruly. <laughs> oh, dude, if I, if I could find it somewhere, dude, Cupid Shuffle, lady in her older 60s, jamming it out in a fucking McDonald's, dude. Yeah, you gotta Imagine going through the drive thru window and you see that. You walk in <laughs> to get your Big Mac stoned as hell, bro, you're jumping in on it. Wait a minute, man. Dude, I did <laughs> the Cupid right. Shuffle with an old lady on night shift. <laughs>
Come on, I worked at McDonald's, dude. Not even bullshit. That's the vibe, man. That's how you do it. So basically, no. what you're saying is you get milfs. Uh, d imagine, <laughs> imagine, dude. That's like that one. Dude, if I don't know if you guys saw that one tweet, but I got a DM of someone asking me if they could send me pictures oh, yeah. of their mom, and I'm like, dude, the milf simulator works, man. It yeah, it's it's in that. there. It's a tweet. It's like, dude, the milf finder, dude. <laughs> uh, I deleted the DM because I'm like, dude, I'm not getting caught dead with this in my DMs. But the tweet's yeah. there if you guys want, if you guys want to see it. Look what happened, man. Look what Unruly likes to do. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. He's like, he said he's not the attacker, but here he is. He's like collecting milfs like they're Infinity Stones. Everybody has Dude, he's like, dude, uh, uh, Terry, <laughs> Rebecca, Stacy. <laughs> hey, dude, that's my grandma's ring. Uh, dude. Hey, I know. I know. Grandma's Gave it to me. But no, nah, I'm all serious. And then, then there's one more interaction. This is the subway story, okay? Yeah. I was like, dude, it's like two weeks of me working there. This happened, dude. New guy, embarrassment, dude. It's bad. I was doing the vet. So there's like, there's like three positions on the line. It's like you're like the line leader where like you, you pull the bread. You cut the bread. You put the meat on and cheese. And then you send it down to veggies, right? Veggies toast the sandwich. They add their shit, the sauces. Then they wrap it up. And then the cashier is the person that brags it up and like rings out the sales, right? So I'm doing, I was line leading, and then because I was still learning, they're like, dude, you're slow. Like, you got to get off the line. We got to get you going. And the pace is packed. It's like, all right, they, they replaced me. There's now, I'm basically just going to go to the back and sit there and twiddle my thumbs because I, I suck. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go take a piss. Simultaneously, when I decided to go do this, right, apparently a kid in the lobby bursted through the front door and ran to the bathroom while I'm walking to the bathroom, okay? This kid had to go. This guy had to go. And it was one of those instances <laughs> in high school that I've ran into, too, with, like, going into the bathroom. And, like, it's always the urinals, dude. It's like, why? Dude, you don't have to be so exposed, okay? The kid doesn't lock the door. I oh, run man. back there. I'm like, dude, I got to piss, dude. I open the door, and I see the sunny side up of a customer. <laughs> And I'm like, dude, oh my god. He's like, I'm sorry. I'm like, dude, no, I'm fucking sorry. I'm about to quit. I'm about to fucking quit. About to fucking quit, dude. Get, poor little kid doesn't lock the door. And sunny side up, man. Sunny side up. That would have been it right there. But that's me. not the worst part of the story. I get put back on veggies. And I have to put olives on this kid's sandwich. Do you know the embarrassment it is to look at a customer, make their food, and be like, yeah, I know what your butt cheeks look like, too? <laughs> That's horrible. That's horrifying. Okay? Oh, my God. And I had to apologize to the kid, apologize to the parent. I'm like, dude, holy shit. And the fact that, dude, it's two weeks in, bro, I know what my customer's ass looks like and how much olives he wants on his sandwich. <laughs> so... The unfortunate shit that happens on stream happens to me IRL too, dude. It, I don't know if it's TOS, but for the record, nothing bad happened. Apologies were have said. Yeah, well, that's good. But I was like, dude, there's no way that I know what this dude's butt cheeks look like and how much olives he wants on a sandwich. I'd say that. You can't even look at him seriously. I couldn't look at him seriously, dude, because I wanted to laugh my ass off. And cry at the same time. <laughs> and cry at the same time. So there's an embarrassing work story. There's two, actually, because who the fuck does a Cupid shuffle through the drive-thru, dude? That was me. Oh, and yeah. Subway, I saw a customer's butt cheeks well, cringe, before man. I made his fucking sandwich, dude. I don't know. The Cupid shuffle is pretty bad, man. <laughs> it is tough, dude. But, like, it's happened to me in school, too. It's like, for some reason, I don't know if... It, ladies probably have code. Like, guys have code where it's, like, every other urinal or every other stall, dude. Cause like, don't let me catch you peeking or I'm yeah, punching oh, you in the no, face, Yeah, oh no, yeah, it's like an un unspoken rule with guys. Yeah, I don't know if ladies have the same thing, but you like, you guys all have stalls, so this probably never happens. But you walk in and you see a motherfucker with his pants down on his ankles at the urinal, dude. I'm fighting you. I'm fighting you as soon as you, <laughs> as soon as you are appropriately dressed. We're scrapping in the parking lot because there is no reason that you got to drop so far low, dude. Kind of I've had instances where like the sink is being used as the restroom and not like dude. That's 
arguably more effort too. <laughs> it is, but I've I, I've witnessed it for myself, and I've seen videos on the internet. I'm like, dude, there's no way you walk in there and you're like, yeah, I have to be this unexposed at, to go to the bathroom. And I, and I would love to <laughs> learn how like embarrassing lady moments are, because there's like, I don't think y'all walk in on each other. I don't think like you guys probably all have code where like. You, you cough or grunt or, or something and like yeah someone's in there or like wrapper on the floor or some shit and you're like yep this doll's take it don't do that I don't know what you guys do but guys have unspoken rules and when you break unspoken rules it's on site it's on site yeah <laughs> but in my instance it was a kid so I can't beat up the kid the weirdest thing that had happened was like the, it, there was this girl who was like having the worst shits of her entire life. Like I like she ate like five hundred oh, pounds Lord. of Taco Bell with like the hottest sauce in the world. Like I don't know, whatever. But she was going through it and then like you just see her all put all of her clothes over like the door. Oh no. So she like it was that bad. She had to get butt ass naked and like I like just the sounds that were coming out of that stall, mm -hmm. I just left the restroom. I was like, oh, <laughs> you were like, moment, don't you? you weren't doing that. See, guys are different. If we hear that, we're like, dude, I'm praying for you, brother. I'm praying for you. I'm going to go the next <laughs> stall over because I have to do the same exact thing. Like, pray for me too, bro. <laughs> Prayer circle. Let's go. Dude, that, I, I've had, I've ran into instances like with customers i i actually had a work gentleman come in after going because it was a hot there's a clinic like right next to our, my subway like across the street and i had an elderly person my parents are elderly so like i i sympathize for elderly people that have like those messes and like dude if i caught someone like that dude it's so hard to one take it seriously two not get grossed out and then you have to be the bigger person at the same time so yeah, yeah. that's that's tough that's tough yeah Prayers for that lady. Prayers for that lady. Prayers. Honestly, she was going through it. I, I feel bad for her. Busting a sweat. I mean, I've been there, but like in my own house where I'm like, okay, this, this shit. You're in your own sanctuary. It's on your own time. Yeah, I'm going to get butt ass naked. I'm going to put my feet up on a stool and I'm going to be like. <laughs> You're gonna go visit real quick. When you head down like this on the, yeah, you know, those comic churning ones. Yeah. You're just like, dude. But it, when like, it's in the public, oh. dude, that that's those are always embarrassing. I'll dude. do that. Ah, uh, man. I don't even. I'm. I don't care in public. Straight up. I realize. I'm just that dude. guy letting it rip. Dude, I can't shit in public. That's like my <laughs> weird thing. Like I can't do it. Well, see, you you hold it till you get home. You hold anyway. it till you get home. Yeah, you just can't I do it. I know a couple home. people like that. But like, like if I, I have power. to be comfortable in the space, like to be able to shit, like it takes me like a couple days. Like when I moved in with my boyfriend, it took me a couple days before I was like, okay, I can shit here. Make oh my gosh, right. you're like you're running back home real quick, back to your parents, and be like, dude, I, I did. Yeah, there we go. She's like, mom, I can't. I actually can't. He's like, why? Why is it weird? It's like I want to poop in front of you. Girls, <laughs> girls don't poop or fart. We yeah, can't let them know. know. Can't let them know. <laughs> Oh, that's that's. Now it's funny. like I fart from him. He's like, nice from across the. You're just dabbing each other up. You're just like, no, oh, that was a good one, babe. Let's go. <laughs> Literally. The, the process of the relationship. You go from hiding it to just dabbing each other up. You got the secret handshake. You're like, that one was dope, bro. We, we fart on each other. Like honestly, that one was weak. And you're like, dude, you want to get beat up first thing in the morning? There's one up. I'll trap it in a blanket tonight. Don't don't mess with me, <laughs> just, dude. If, if you, is someone ever in a relationship yeah. where they're just like comfortably Dutch ovening each other, ah, uh, dude, you either want it or you don't want it. Because I don't know if that's relationship goals where you're like, dude, I got Rebecca crazy yesterday, and you're telling your boy, and you're like, yo, but she's just as bad. He's like, dude, no way. It's like, first of all, they yeah. say they don't fart, but I almost died. Yeah. So like, if that's I don't know, dude. I don't know. Ripped your nostrils apart, man. That was it. If you go from hiding it to just dabbing each other up, I guess that's goals. I guess that's goals. Yeah. It, it, oh, yeah. It's, it's funny now. It's just like a joke that we do. It's just like we'll just like be farting. But nowadays yeah, we funny. have Amaranth selling her farts, so I don't know what you two are doing, but you guys are I'm missing out on a business. Shit, you guys bro. are missing I'm out. Farting. People have it. Dude, I like it. Dude, I'm pretty I've potent seen... too, so I'm like, I can get some, you know, I got quality product. He's it's like, dude, this, is the, this yeah. is the knockout jar. This is the knockout jar. You wanna go sleep? <laughs> oh, my bath water. Hold up. Just... 
too. Like, take the, get on the blanket and then take oh, this. I won't oh. shower for a week and then take a bath. I got that's to go. No, no. That's that's that's, that's one doctor. thing. That's one thing I gotta give female creators props about is guys have never thought about this shit, and we've missed cash grabs, bath water, over weirdo like weirdo people like dropping mad money on chicks thinking they like they got they're gonna get something out of it and they're like wait a minute but what if we did get them something out of it and it's dude bath water gamer pee fucking farts dude i've seen gamer pee look it up it it's out there but no, it's like dude why haven't us guys thought about it because we're all cool with each other the boys are with each other you know the boys the boys it's like dude the girls are like dude let's take advantage of how stupid men are and sell our farts in our bath water. Like, girls send each other nudes and shit. Like that's a time. thing. Because yeah, like, guys yeah, don't guys like... don't compare. We'll gas each other up and pretend that we're all meet, but we don't compare. I mean, no, and, that, unless your group compares. So like, oh, no way. Like, you know, like, we haven't compared yet. Or whatever. I'm like, hey, look at this fucking ass pic I took today, and they're like, help. And I'm like. I do, we do that shit all the time. I think all if us time. guys got caught doing that shit, dude, like, we'd have to beat each other all up. Because, like, dude, like, we're... <laughs> no, uh, there... I will tell you... Are you telling me right you collect now, homie picks, my... like, Pokemon cards? Don't tell me y'all compare. Listen, get the listen, fucking tape measure listen, out. Bro. Listen, there has to be There's an story established here. alpha in the group. And there is... You're telling it's me it's a me. wolf pack mentality, dude? Yes. It's a it wolf is, pack it, it mentality. Is. You're like, dude, Alex is hung, respect. dude. That's yeah, daddy. It's a subconscious respect. Like, this is final decision of anything of boys' activities is said by him. Well, what do you think, Matt? All right. Go. It don't matter, bro. This That's guy it. picks where he's we're going out to eat tonight because yeah. he's hung. He picks where we're dropping. He picks what movie we're seeing. You know, it's what it is. This is what there's, 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 a, there's a limit. I need to know the limit because, dude, there's no, balls. dude. If if balls? girls, are, <laughs> I would, I would hope that like you wouldn't compare that size, cause, dude, like, imagine looking at you like dude, the fucking melons, man. There's no way, bro. <laughs> Guys, boys, yeah. if you're listening to this, for the ho the boys listening to this, dude, we apparently have to step it up if the girls are comparing butt pics, cause, like, dude. Yeah, I'm apparently, on, we're, apparently we're not home. He's there like, you dude, go, bro. You hear a Twitter like, ding? Twitter the notification? Like, yeah. you know. you just hear fucking, like, That's actually crazy, clicks. dude. That's actually crazy, dude. There's no way, dude. I would never think that girls did that. Yeah, I mean, like, the amount of my friends who have seen my tits. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. Like, a lot. The I boys know. have seen my titties, so what's up with it? Uh, yeah. The, I'm, yeah, that actually happened. Um... I think it was the yeah. six Modelo in night. Damn, there you go. Yeah, you, yeah, actually. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm like, you forget we went, we go way back. We've known each yeah, dude. Years, oh dude. man. Like, See, at, at least, at least it's an IRL really thing. School. They've known each other, chat. Okay, they know each other. Okay, so don't go thinking your favorite Twitch streamer, YouTube streamer, TikToker is gonna be the same way. Okay, there's double standards free. here. There's double standards <laughs> here. And there's boundaries, okay? There's boundaries. Dude, there's boundaries, we're missing out, gentlemen. Gentlemen, we are missing out if we are not collecting Pokemon. I ain't missing out on nothing, homie. Dude, you're I've the Pokemon masters for the boys, then. I've literally you gotta, you gotta been just, like, established. Frame it like, you gotta frame it like, hey, I'm gonna send this to my favorite. It's in, it's in the man cave. It's like, dude, this is Josh's. It's like, why is that on the wall, uh, bro? He's like, like that's, that's his seat. He sits directly <laughs> yeah, underneath said picture. He sits there. We don't have name <laughs> tags here. There's an established spot on the electrical box in the in the community center, bro. That's just what it is. <laughs> That's wild, bro. That's wild. <laughs> this is established. We order. we are slacking as ho boys if we're not collecting Pokemon cards That's of each it. other. Yeah, That's, crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, collect the Infinity Stones. Dude, there is, seriously, dude. You gotta see the other, like who's. There's no who's way, the dude. You, you gotta. Know? What? Like, <laughs> what? It, you know? Dude. Who's like, cold right man, now, bro? Some, some He's like, dude, that's yeah, Tyler. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> Tyler's when his room's at 64 degrees. <laughs> yeah, you have a temperature folder? Dude. I can judge the fucking temperature of his room by the wrinkle, bro. Like, I can see I, it. <laughs> There's the two veins, you know? not three. That means it's 65. <laughs> yeah. Dude. <laughs> 
There's no shot, dude. Ladies, if you actually do shit like that, bro, you guys are on a different level. Do you think guys are weird with each other? You think it happens? Dude, like, I'm not, like... Dude, I would not believe it. If you told me girls, like, gas each other up like that... Like, guys have gym picks, okay? And we all look yeah, at the squat I'm racks when the ladies are around. Phone. But there's, like, there's... I would not think that girls were like, dude, Rebecca has a dumpy, and it's going in the folder. What's it called? I'm about to call my friend and be like, hey, how many, like, titty pictures have I sent you? <laughs> like, dude, I'm, like, dead ass. Dude, God, I could tell you I've never been in a friend group that was like that. I literally just sent you one, bro. What do you mean? Dude, I'm check not. Twitter. Go check Twitter. Dude, I don't want to tab out. Shit. Wow. Just pass him out. <laughs> Hand him out like flyers, Yo, I'm dude. Missing a, I'm missing a DM. You're missing pause, a DM? Pause, pause. Uh, but yeah. Uh, any other embarrassing stories to go around? Because, like, I went from falling out of chairs to seeing a customer's asshole. Uh, tough. It's fucking really. tough. And the casual shit talk clips and GTA oh. aim assist. I got one. I got one. Go one ahead. Story. Go crazy. So I, I'm a teacher. I teach music like for high schoolers, right? Yup. And uh, I, at a lot of band rooms, like there's like guard rooms and then there's like drumline percussion rooms. You know what I mean? Uh huh. And so I was going uh into the percussion room at an after school rehearsal, right? And I open the door, and I see two students. They were. Oh they hell were, yeah! They were um. They were, what's it called? Not percussion students, but like uh different band students. Uh huh. And um. Uh. They're, they're playing a different out. kind of violin, huh? Yeah, you know, <laughs> they were freaking out, and they were like, "No, no, no, wait!" And I was like, "What?" And they were like, "Oh." I know we weren't supposed to be doing this, but we were, you know, doing the deed. Wait, and, they snitched uh, on themselves? The condom got stuck in her thing. Oh, now, dude, now you need an adult. And you had to be the adult, didn't you? God I bless your no. soul. Oh. <laughs> you said, said no. Oh, you left God. her hanging, bro. She <laughs> pulled off the cliff. You <laughs> left her hanging. Oh, my God. No. no. I walked out, I walked into the band director's room, and I was like, there's a situation going on in a percussion room that needs your attention. I'm going my ass. No up. way, you Goodbye. sauced it over to the other teacher. <laughs> Dude, I no. I do not get paid enough, bro. I'm like, I'm a walk-on coach. Listen, I don't get paid listen. enough for this shit, bro. Dude, like, not only. They're walking around, they wild in the, in the, the wind and man. Like, <laughs> like, that seems a lot like your guys' problem. Dude, yeah, they're shit. blowing a different kind of reed over there. You got to take yeah. care of it. And you were yeah, out. Blowing reed, like, not a reed. No, dude. dude. Uh, and, like, I went back and, like, my <laughs> face, like, I was, like, a mixture of, like, shock and trying not to, like, cry from laughing so hard. And then, like, all my students are like, what happened, what happened? And I was just like, no. I literally, uh, legally can't tell you, but legally dude. Legally cannot say anything. <laughs> dude. I was like, I think if I stayed any longer, I might have committed a crime. Like, I know. Good. Dude, not yeah, only. That's... Dude, imagine being her, though, dude. Like, I know I wasn't yeah. supposed to be doing this, but, like, it's sure stuck, like, homie. It's stuck. Sure I need an adult. Which thing it was stuck in. I'm not entirely sure which one it was stuck in. Uh, I think it was number two, not like the main show, but like the other show, you know, like Dude. the side show. Ah, uh, uh, depends on your main show is. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. That's insane, uh, dude. Hold, that's a. I, I was like, nah. <laughs> you're moving on. You're moving on into another life, knowing that, yep, I had caught students doing the dirty, and not only did I yep. catch them, they needed my help. Yeah, that's I was wild. Like, what do you want that's me to wild. do? Stick my hand in your ass and get it? Like, no. Like, I'm gonna go get a real adult. Oh shit! I'm it's the like, other way. It got sorry, stuck in the know. other one. What? I, I think so. I think Dude. so. Dude. Yeah, I would have left too. There's no way. Because what's it called? The girl was like really churchy. I knew for sure. So uh, was, like, dude, that's an escape. Oh, that's a loophole. Uh, I think it was one Interesting. of those in the ass because I love Jesus. Yeah, yeah. it's, uh, fuck. Interesting. There's a word for it. Abstinent. Abstinence. Yeah. But, like, just like doesn't that count, though? And she was, no. like, she was like, She's like, in the lame of the Lord, it doesn't. She's like, I can't tell my parents. And I was like, 
dude. I look. I, I can't tell my parents degree. either. Otherwise, they ain't gonna support me teaching. Yeah. Like, That's tough. I was like, this is above my pay grade. I just go here. <laughs> just set up the guidance counselor real quick. Honestly, though. Oh, that's tough. Right. That's tough. That shit was scary. That was scary. Scary. It's scary being an adult. You think taxes are worse? Wait till you deal with kids. Uh, I don't want to. Not yet. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> dude, Matt, dude, you, you get it. You, you have to do, you have to lay cable for like a club that's coming in game and you're just like, yup, wrong room. Yeah. <laughs> They said booths, not stalls, game. Booths, not stalls. Yeah, well. Oh, so bad for her, bro. It's like a fucking. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Installing the internet for like a GTA strip club. And it's I like, mean, what? You yeah. remember from high school horns how many people got caught at our high school? Yeah, yeah. high school. Yeah. 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 You got hey, like a, you got like an anime series where it's like horny high. Was Dude, that your school? Was that your school? Literally. literally. Dude, there's there no was way. three. <laughs> separate rooms in the band room that you could go in and do the nasty in. Yeah. That, like, people that, would, like, like, leave, like, people would have, like, people watching on guard. Yeah, like, yeah, like, dude, Sarah's got, um, between fifth and sixth period. Um, I heard Tony and Rebecca are back together. The, the, they, they have it fucking fourth and, and third period, um, after, or uh, during lunch, okay? And then, so you <laughs> go to the Sarah. third room and you see it, like, the clipboard's hung up there, and you're like, it opens slot, and you're like, dude. Uh, uh, you think I can get it down with Sam? Like, that was your school? <laughs> like, that was your school? Y'all got, you got a group no. chat? You got a group chat where it's like, Literally. all right, you guys can't go here, here, so? No, honestly, it really was. There was a big-ass ring that connected to it. Hey, like I said. What's it called? Like, oh, my bedroom was like, we're a family. And I was like, literally. Was like one, then, bro. Oh, like, no, dude. Dude, you don't know the shit our school went through, bro. There was some drama. Wild <sighs> shit. Bro. There was <sighs> drama. In my, in my time through high school, there was like two Park. instances. Oh, wow, right, my was, ass, bro. <laughs> wait, wait what? Pause? Fuck uh, this is a moment weird. <laughs> See, are we allowed to tell that story? I, I, I don't think I, I don't know if we are. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. Does this is this like a Twitch vod deletion right afterwards? After no, I just it's not. This, like, it's no. not bad. I mean, it's bad. I like, mean, I happened, could I could talk about the not, two instances at my time. It's sure. like it's like teacher did something he wasn't supposed to do with a with a student. With a student. Yep. The bare basics of it. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so. Like, um, was it was the movie Grown Ups? What's the, what's the Adam Sandler movie where he has a kid with a teacher? Um, that's my boy. That's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah, where yeah. he gets where he has Han Solo. So it was like yeah, that instance of just messing with the teacher. <laughs> that's tough. It was hard. It Sadly, was it's not so uncommon. Bad, Sadly, it's un not uncommon. I hear stories all the time. Yeah. There's like that no, one that like so blew bad. up on Twitter or whatever. I think it was Twitter or Facebook that was like the teacher had an OnlyFans and she was doing it with the student, another female yeah. student. Wait, you're in shock? You didn't see that? No. Dude, I'm pretty sure it was global. Like no, it was it was a, it was a younger teacher, younger teacher like graduated like 2 years or so from during teacher school. Teaching teacher school. <laughs> getting taught the taught, you know, and like a, a se like with a senior female, of course. They were like business partners, dude. It was a legitimate thing. It's crazy. Crazy. That's fucking nuts, man. It is crazy. Nah, dude, like, the minute, like, I have students who, like, at the end of the school year, would give you a hug and, like, say thank you, and I was like... Legally, no. Legally, no. I was like, don't touch me. I was like, you gotta be 18 and graduated before you can give me a hug. Yeah. Literally. Like, uh -uh, goodbye. It's like with schools, like, you can't follow teachers or, like, be friends with teachers on Facebook, even if they're their fucking neighbor, dude. Dude, like, man, we just... had a teacher that had literally... Everybody's number and dude, that school? that's a ju dude, that's embarrassing. Yeah, it's, it's a little creepy. So like, even like the freshmen. They have a student. Yeah. They have a yellow pages for their students. Adele. Oh yeah. A yellow page for their students is what you're, you're telling right, me. You're right. Yeah, basically, not just you. him. Basically, I mean, like he was a cool teacher, but nobody read that. He was nobody cool, read cool. it that far until like we. Ex we got out of school and we're like, yeah, that was kind of fucking weird, huh? He still, because he still talks to people after school, and he still like meets up with them and shit like that, like hangouts and whatnot. Like, like was oh, he no. dank or he was just weird? 
he was cool as fuck. Like he was the cool cool, he was no. the cool teacher, but like it. You're like, all like, right, man. This, you had uh, four years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? That's like wild. yeah, I know. I like him because he did a lot for someone really close to me. So I, you know, I'm down with that. Um. Just like really but, energetic and cool teacher, but yeah, it was a little weird. What's it called? Uh, only teacher that had my number was Myler. Smiler's a Jeeva. There's a lot of teachers that always had my number. Yeah. Yeah, like for a different <laughs> reason though. <laughs> yeah, study groups. Oh uh, yeah, dude. Yeah, Tutor. Study groups, you know. Tutoring, yeah. man. Yeah, dude, that math Mr. test was Park, crazy, Park two, dude. You know. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> nah, this dude. Was it fucking? Was it? Uh, what's the math one where it's like, it's like um. Was it me plus you subtract the clothes, divide the legs and uh, multiply? Is that the saying? Is that what the saying yeah. was, dude? Yeah, but, dude. Oh my yeah. god, I forgot about that. Dude. Fucking stupid. Yeah, dude. That at that level of cringe at a high school, dude. I had an instance. It was eighth. My eighth grade science teacher who was caught with um, child um, pictures of younger students, and I was in English class when the fucker got arrested. They arrested him in front of everybody. <laughs> They evacuated the classroom, so we already knew what was up. And then you're just sitting out there in the hallway. You're like, yeah, dude, what the heck's going on? Then your teacher, your favorite teacher, the guy that was literally just teaching you, like, a science lesson. Yeah, he's in cuffs, dude. Almost in a jumpsuit. Just gone. Jesus. Um, and then, which sucked because, like, that was a cool science teacher. I was, in, I was in, like, the nerdy club. Like, we took up our Xboxes and shit. Mm-hmm. It, it, of course, it had to be that guy. It had to be the cool tech guy. That was the weirdo. Um, and then like, do you guys ever have a high school pregnancy? Oh, dude! Everybody in our high school was pregnant. Yeah, holy. We shit. had one of those that was like <laughs> revolutionary for a school. Like it never happened before. And like, eighth grade, dude. Of course it was eighth grade. Why is it both eighth grades, dude? That was crazy. That was one hell of a year. Apparently, <laughs> one hell of a year. It was like eighth grade and a senior, eighth grader and a senior. And like, dude, uh, apparently your high school was wild because like. Oh no, dude! It was. It was another. It was that's a a, that's my, not my embarrassing for me. My ex boyfriend's new girlfriend is a porn star. Uh, actually hit me up trying to get a threesome with him and his new girlfriend. Well, there you fucking go, chat. Uh, which was like crazy. There was, what's it called? This guy who uh, who I thought was my friend for the longest time, but ended up like having sex with so many people and cheating on like his girlfriend, like. A billion times and like gave her chlamydia and then like uh what's it yeah. called there was a pregnancy in the band two pregnancies in the band excuse me band uh, is a cult that we can definitely right band director almost got fired for calling uh uh kid slurs the r slur um, wow like dude like <laughs> our school yeah, was fucking I'm... crazy your school had no, no chill and no pregnant. chill hells is the only one of the girls that came out of that school not pregnant bro I swear to god yeah well like shit, dude. you see what just... you saw when I was dating yeah <laughs> She's like, I wouldn't caught dead making out of the dude. dude. I'm sitting there. We had a spot, dude. We all had a spot. And I just watched everybody. Like I just, I saw what was going down. You know. No group. way. I just you didn't have to everything. pay for it. So many kids nah, do drugs, like hard drugs, oh, like dude. meth and coke, and like. Shit He's gonna like see that in the valley. <laughs> Straight up, one kid. It was the funniest shit ever. One kid sits there in his class at his that he had a little square individual desk, and he has a, a can of PC cleaner. And the oh teacher's back, teacher's back's turned, and he's doing like this, you know, it's like little ones like that. And the teacher's estate kept his back turned, and he got up, the guy got up, took a big ass hit of the can, and then sat down real quick. Ten minutes later, he's sitting there, he's going, ee, 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 he's fucking laughing his ass off, and he fucking takes the whole desk with him, and he falls over. Oh my oh, god, dude. I was like, you idiot, dude. There was this girl who got caught doing coke in my English class. Oh my god. Like, oh, you was writing a different kind bad. of letter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you weren't making fucking margin. You know where you get the ruler on a blank sheet of paper and you're doing the fucking margins? You're like, dude, that's a different See, kind of margin. My Our high school was that high... That, that you were high, high school, school. That has a high reputation, but the students were a bunch of Prissy little uh, 
like they uh, they thought they deserved the whole fucking world. It was all about them type of thing. But they mm-hmm. were like they always did drugs. They got pregnant early, you know. They hopping from guy to guy or you know girl to girl, regardless, whatever, doing drugs and shit. That's walking but reality shows. But the school shows. itself has like a high regard, you know, like. Yeah, everybody was. Oh, so you guys there. got an everybody education. Go. It was a good education, but do y'all just have were fucking crazy? Yeah, it was fucking it, education, but we oh, came out with a little bit. They're of like, problem. dude, their their national testing scores are through the roof, as well as teen pregnancy. Coincidence? Yeah. <laughs> I think not. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> dude, that's tough. Dead ass though, for real, for real. They're like it Ivy was, Ivy wild. League school, also yeah. a daycare. That's, that's wild, dude. That's yeah, actually dude, wild. It was. It really was. People had to take time off. They're like, oh, where's fucking Sophia today? Oh, she's got to take care of her she's, kid. Yeah, eight months, dude. Oh, where's Cyber your dad? School. Oh, he's ten schools away now. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he moved to another state and uh, hasn't talked yeah. like, actually, years. dude, I don't know where he's at. See, like, coming back to the whole thing with female content creators and stuff like that in the industry... Or not, I wouldn't say content creators. There's people doing females that are in a job in general. There were so many teachers and teachers' aides there that people hit on, like, just straight up in the middle of class. Like, so, it was yeah, fucking yeah, wild, yeah. bro. Like, you remember Miss Miranda? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, dude. And she straight up had, she moved entire, like, districts. Dude, she, she was like, districts. she was tired so of the bro. kids. She was tired of it. Oh, yeah, fucking, dude. Like, she's like, I'm not going to jail for this. I actually had a male teacher that everyone hit on to. His name was Mr. Baker. And I don't know what it is with bald people. Girls with bald people. <laughs> Abel, you might have to, like, elaborate on this one. What do you find attractive out of bald guys? Because I'm like, dude, that's Mr. Clean. I'm fun. Do they have beard? Or is it just, like, completely... No, this guy was clean-shaven. Clean-shaven and bald. Oh, but they I'm always hit on him. They, maybe they thought they always his head was, like... Is that, is that what they need? Is, like, they need, like, a beard to go with it? Cause like shit, if I have to go bald, beard. if that means I'm not gonna like die alone, have seen, shit. Have you seen my man's? I love beards. Yeah. Like, Dude, nah, like right, it's so. always with bald people, man. I, like no, I, I don't have a problem with bald people, obviously, but like I don't know what it was with in my school, but it was this one guy. Dude was bald. I didn't think he was attractive, and you know I'll gas the homies up. Yeah. But it's like, dude, my sister's the same way. All of her husbands were bald. I don't know what it is with bald people. No, like, deadass, I've gotten hit on by students, like... That's or, scary. Like, shit like that, and I'm just like, get away from me. You're like, Hell um... no, dude. <laughs> you're not I'm passing not next test, you fucking jail. weirdo. I'm not trying uh-huh. to end up on a list. Like, you need to back the fuck up. Knees up, like, Jack. Yeah, like, it's it's bad. Like, it, especially with working with teenagers who, like, are going through those, like, hormonal changes and, like, you know, their hormones are so, like, high and so, like, powerful, and they're just, like, they just say some out-of-pocket shit, and I'm just, like, getting a spray bottle and spraying it. Like, <laughs> down, oh, boy. Bro. Down, boy. Down. <laughs> get off my lane, boy. <laughs> fucking new spit. Get the fucking ruler, and you're just like, bam. No. <laughs> no. Pretty much. Oh, my God. That's tough, dude. Like, it's literally, like, to the point where I just bring Vince at least once to, like, a rehearsal or something. Just to remind so them that, all? Like, yeah, they're like, yeah, this guy's hitting it, not you this guy not you that dude what's sad what's sad is Ga- that's part of gavin's content gabe we're talking about how horrible students are for that shit literally, but that's gavin's literally. content literally man's made a tiktok of him proposing to his english teacher dude like that's part of my nephew's content bro and people think it's hilarious but at the same time it's like dude that's fucked up you gotta stop yeah like dude yeah, he, he we know you don't mean it they know you don't mean it but it's like dude the very drunk. act itself is like, you okay, can't. dude. You and can't do and that. as soon as you turn 18 and her husband beats your ass, you, dude, don't come grind to me. Yeah. I told you not to. I told him. I done told him. It's tough, dude. It's tough. Oh, my God. Same thing with, like, uh, like don't get your streamers in trouble with other creators, dude. Like, dude. Yeah. Come on, man. Wrap your community, bro. Amen. Amen. Um, but yeah, any other embarrassing stories to talk about? I, I, I knew this was the funny segment, so I let it ramble on a little bit. So yeah. if you got anything else before we talk about knowing your value as a creator and content groups and teams? Because yep. that's important, is knowing your worth and having quali- like a good work environment as a content creator. Because mm-hmm. I've been through the ringer. I'll share my experiences after you guys go through, because I've been through the fucking ringer. And June 1st, 
is going to be a hint, hint, wink, wink, a new start in the ringer. So. Confirm. Hashtag confirm. Hashtag confirm. Yep. <clears throat> it's Wednesday, folks. Make sure you follow Unruly on all the socials. Hashtag. Uh, I'm actually excited because I've been always talking about putting the homies on, and it's an opportunity too. So. <clears throat> so. That's you. Look at that. You should guys actually look in the media kits. The meeting I had today blew the blew this dude's mind when I talked about media kits and how I like figured out TikTok. So, look at that. Like resources, dude. Oh man, I got TikTok figured out too. Yeah, dude, people like will people will hire you and sign you up for like bring you on for shit like that, dude. Like once you figure out the algorithm for shit, people want that. So that's something we'll definitely talk about. Um, yeah. Actually, I actually, I actually want Gabe to go through with um, Gabe to talk about his experiences. Um, because if you're not part of the pit, dude. There's one community I'll put before mine, slightly, very slightly, is the pit because I'm part of the pit and there's some genuine motherfuckers in there. So like, I want to hear your expectations for a community because you got a good community. I know Bella does too, especially because of the like the groups of people she she represents multiple communities and what she makes sure is really great is because she's got like that diversity and it's like. If you have problems, there's another homie in there that's been through that shit and has got you. And Gabe's is the same way with that community. Is like with, he's got shooters. Like your your tweet, Bell, with the one guy. Like, he's like, yo, you ever talk shit to Bell, bro? It's like on site, and you're like, yeah, you, you quoted it, and you're like, I got shooters in every corner. That's the same thing with that's the same thing with the pit. So I will like, yeah, man. preach, see him, but they're preach self worth, okay? Because like. We, I had a rough mental day the other day, and you were in my DMs talking to me about self worth. I want you to help everyone else with self worth real quick. So, if you don't mind going first, I'd like you to go first, and then Bell, you'll follow through, and then because I have the most experience with all this shit, um, I'll go. But Bell's is just as important too because I don't know what it's like to be a female content creator and have org owners in your DMs trying to take advantage of you. So we'll let <laughs> we'll let the expert deal with that yeah. and represent that because it's very I I take representation in a topic very seriously which is why i'll have mix up of co-stars um so yours is just as important um but i want gabe to go first because dude the pit there's some genuine motherfuckers in there i don't think there's one person that i'd be like dude they'd probably take a bullet for each other all of them in the pit so uh when you're ready take it away dude yeah it's it's funny that you say that because i've been talking a lot about this yesterday with my one of my IRL buddies that like we, we take some time we take a lot of time and we don't just talk we just don't talk to each other and we come back and it's just like no time has passed i can't confirm um, this there was a valheim session to be had yeah um. <laughs> <laughs> no but he's just that one dude that you i literally can tell anything i feel like the most comfortable around this dude like i, I don't there's no defenses up with this guy it's literally it and we talk about this shit all the time with like building yourself up and your worth and who you are into the world and everything like that and a lot of that stems from like i can't i'm speaking from my experience because we're the communities i grew up in um a lot of that stems from what i'm pulling into twitch with the metal community like the whole system about it is just people take care of each other locking like everyone's a fucking chain right and you know everyone's locked together and everybody takes care of each other no matter and they pick each other up when they're down and that's the stuff i represent that stuff that I want to bring to Twitch and tell people at the same time playing a video game and having fun and you know the attention's nice I can't get me wrong but <laughs> right um you know if you can make people laugh along the way that does go a long way you like someone I mean you have it it's cliche as it is to say making someone laugh or just making someone smile once a day can break a streak of something that you don't know what have been go may have been going on mm hmm and I've seen it. I've seen this happen to people. You know, I've experienced this firsthand with a lot of IRLs that I met, a lot of people that I haven't even, like, just recently. Like, like I said, with you, like, you were having a rough time, and you tell me that you don't like putting your shit on people. And a lot of people say that because, you know, it's, it is a big thing. And nobody understands that more than I do because I do that shit so much. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. Um, but I, it's like I told you, okay, but remember, man, I'm the one who came to you, you know? 
So like, just lay it down, and that's the that's the that's the representation of the metal community. That's what my people do. They go to you. They go, they look for the people who are struggling, and they they uh, reach out to them. You know, they solve a problem before it escalates or happens, and that's what I want my community to be, and that's what my community is. You know, um, and I named it the pit because in a mosh is literally just a mosh pit representation because in a mosh pit people get fucking crazy you don't see what's going on it's it gets rough touch like life you know it's just what it is sometimes but the main number one thing about other people that are joining you in that activity is if you fall over literally everybody fucking stops and we'll pick you up and make sure you're good so that's what I like about that and everybody makes sure they're okay because we're all in this together we're all going through this rough stuff together and we're all in this life we're all sharing it and sharing the same breath and then some people just need that one person to be the light in their life or even just sit with them in the dark you know and as a twitch streamer if you can do that and you know create your content and make people laugh that's just like the best That that that's what draws me in to people you know that's what I want to show people how to do because I don't see a lot of people that do that they preach it but they don't practice it and it really hurts sometimes to see that because um, putting your faith or love into somebody uh, or trust into someone or something that turns out to just be a shallow shallow hollow words that can send you even further down than you already started with Right, and I'm sure you know both of you know that. Um, but that as a as a content creator, it's you got to take sides sometimes with things. Like a lot of people expect you to have a stance on a specific topic and what, and you have you get you do have to use your platform for you know something huge like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's controversial. Sometimes it may not be, but. Um, you know, it really, it really does depend on how the topic goes, and how you, how you represent yourself in your community, and that like, a lot of people preach that. A lot of Destiny streamers, um, that's like a big problem in Destiny uh, communities with their big, their big streamers is they go and they'll chip at each other's chats and communities. They'll just eat at each other, you know, just come back. And the streamers do obviously they hold their their community accountable like don't be doing that don't do this yeah we may have beef but that's between us it's not that serious you know don't go telling other people to kill themselves or streamer or whatever you know harassing anybody like that it's um it's just not right and it's a bad re representation of both communities and it does not look good for people who want to come up and start with orgs you know orgs don't like that activity mm -hmm. you know orgs are looking for someone that they can brand out and um hate and Hate and and uh, what's the word for it? Hate and vanity. That that all just uh, <laughs> that's not good marketing. That don't fly. <laughs> no. And it's just generally you just being a shitty human being, and like you don't need to be. There's literally no reason for anybody to be a shitty human being, in any sense of the imagine. No, I don't care if you're having a bad day. I don't care. You know, it's don't think you're angry around somebody. Else. All right. And a lot of the same thing with streamers. Like, it's if you don't like someone else's content, or if you don't like what someone else has said, don't talk shit in their community. Don't come at their throats. Cause, like, recently we did have one um, situation with one of the streamers that a lot of people know and love because he has his dog. Um, his dog, he has a giant dog, but this is a big guy, and he accidentally shoved him a little too hard at one point, and. It mm -hmm. caused a little uproar in the community. Like, yeah, he just straight up abuses his dog, mistreats his dog. And <clears throat> his community is usually the most humble community ever. But the guy who lit the fire under that and was the main one calling him out for, like, being a dog abuser, uh, he got really bombarded, like, with a lot of hate mail and a lot of hate threats and uh, a lot of stuff. And it's... It was a little much, you know. Like you have your right to express your opinions, but you have no right to go into someone else's chat and tell them to end themselves, do this, or call them a piece of shit or whatever, you know. 
like you said, represent your community. And I hope no one in my chat or Discord ever does that to anybody because they're they know better. No, those are the people I don't. Uh, those are the people I don't fuck with. Right. Is those are the angry people that that go out and talk shit for no reason at all. It's not even their business. Like shit's being handled. Let it be handled. It'll blow over eventually. Um, and some people just don't understand that. But again, uh, you do have to hold your community accountable for that, regardless of who you are, how big you are, how small you are. You know, it's what it is. And it doesn't take it. it it's absolutely free just to be a good person and say something nice. You know, damn straight. It's absolutely free. <clears throat> don't cost shit. It takes a moment of your time. Just telling someone have a good day, you know? It's really what it is. It's all, all, a lot of that can go far. Just being there for somebody or uh, <coughs> just being overall just generally nice on the platform. Just being kind and doing what you do, you know? Yep. Like, those are the streamers I look to, and those are the guys that I look I look up to, and I, I shape my community around. And that's what I want to bring my beliefs to the platform, you know? Like, I don't care what religion, color, political stance, you know, whatever the fuck, whatever title you may throw up on there, I, you're, you're human to me. You're my friend. You're the cool, you're in my chat. You know, you're a follower. You're, you're part of the pit, you know? Right. You're a part of my world and that's what it is. And I wish you the best on your journey, wherever it may lead. And I will always believe that forever and ever. So when like people come out and start talking shit, on either one of you guys' talks and I'm in the comments just like shing shing clang clang on their asses you know what I mean <laughs> you're pulling out the sword you're like hold the yeah, fuck like, up hey, dude oh, whoa 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 my god is that you necessary what are you talking man? To? yeah exactly <laughs> people do get humbled sometimes they're like hey man like instead of like talking shit back you tell them like hey, man, come on dude don't be that guy dude, there's so many instances you know? where it's like you call them out for it, and then you become pals. Like, they follow your content right? shit. It's like, dude, you switched up that fast, man? Straight up. Like, two of my best friends, like, even, like, we hated each other. Like, in high school, we hated each other. We even, like, straight up just fist fought each other at one point. But now we're the coolest dudes ever. <laughs> Sometimes dude, that... you just kind of get humbled. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> but just, I guess my overall point is just be a good person. You know, it costs nothing to do that. You know, everyone has their bad days. But we can't let that reflect on our on our realities. You know, the world's a dark place, and there's already too many people trying to turn us against each other for the smallest things, and nothing more than lining their pockets. You know. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, yeah, they, like I said, uh, the pit has always been, from what I've experienced, um, and been in the stream stuff, always cool peeps. Um, and we were just talking about self worth, so I definitely wanted you to start off, but um, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm a monster, a bang, and a water bottle deep in the session, and I have to take a piss. <laughs> so, if you guys got a story real quick, or you want to continue on with your point, go right ahead, but I will be right back. Man, I hate that guy. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, right? He's gone, man. Damn. There you go. Anyways, now that we uh, uh, own his Twitch, go follow me. I'm Hell's Bo No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, go follow uh, Horns OnlyFans for free uh, toe picks. Free toe picks? Yeah, free oh, toe really? picks. I got like, it's free because I got surgery on one toe, so it's like kind of like ugly. Oh, God, <laughs> I get some toe ratings, you know. Toe ratings? <laughs> Shit. One dollar, like I'll put my, my yeah. One dollar, I'll put my foot behind my head. <laughs> I'll do feet things. What you what would speed thing? <laughs> I got a good yeah. arch, you know. If I let the little middle part, <laughs> Jesus, Christ. my my foot throws it back, you know. <laughs> but nah, it's all shit's crazy right now. I'm yeah, sure it's... to be the best I can be. Yeah, especially for you. I I, I hope that you know. I, I hope this things get better. I really, do. especially this time of the month. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Yeah, uh, I mean it's the internet, so not really. <laughs> yeah. You know, 
Like, I've seen, like, Amaze. Like, well, you've seen the shit that they tell Amaze. Like, Dude, like, oh Amaze my... is such an God. amazing creator. And Hell I don't yeah. understand why people do that to him. Like, the stuff that they say, like, how can you be so fucking vulgar and, you know, like, crude like that? I had somebody mass commenting on my on my TikToks yesterday. Yeah. I blocked them and deleted all the comments, but they are like, F N words, F N words, like just repeated yeah, I... everywhere on all of my TikToks as many, as many as they could do before I noticed it, and I was like, A. And people have chill. time out of the day to do that. Like, who yeah, takes? I'm... You know what? I'm gonna get on TikTok today, and I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin someone's shit just to get it deleted and not seen by ever, anyone ever, and it's just all it is is a blip. That hey, yeah, that happened. Anyway. Yeah, don't be those people, know. dude. Don't be those people. That shit all yeah, the time. Like, like yeah, it's always, hobby, please. it's always someone that's like, dude, how? Like, your your free time is spent on being an asshole. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, dude. exactly. Like, come on, dude. Like, what the fuck? Like, you don't got better things to do. Like, go to fuck the bed. Yeah. At least get some sleep get, that you've been bitching get, about that you don't yeah, get. Yeah, get your eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Losing sleep because he's on the TL, bro. <laughs> yeah, get off the timeline, man. Man's being shit racist on the TL. Too busy. Oh, the amount of things people think they can say to me is uh it's disgusting yeah <laughs> Very disgusting. and as gamers we've got it away with it for a long time that's because we didn't have face cams then now we know what each yeah. other look like we're like yeah all right you little <laughs> punk dude remember that fucking modern warfare 2 lobby remember what you said yeah dude you beat your fucking no, ass now. Yeah, i'm sure we've all been there at like, one dude, point I'll in those modern warfare 2 lobbies twitch con, like, man. <laughs> now that i know that you can't fight i'm gonna beat your ass immature yeah. Uh, I know you look like a fucking unsharpened pencil. Yeah. All right, dude. At me next time. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, dude. That's why I wear sweatshirts. Damn. Goodness gracious. Yeah. John's going to go bald now. He's going to look like... Dude, I might have to go bald because apparently <laughs> bald guys be pulling, dude, man. You'd be slick. You'd just be like straight, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like a fucking eraser top. You got to... <laughs> You gotta clock your speed, how fast you run, with hair and without hair. <laughs> Jesus, oh my dude. god. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Clean and the fucking Flash. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Really, bro. But, um, Honestly. yeah. Um, so, if there's anything else you want to talk about the pit uh, before we move on, um, floor's still yours. Nah, just, um, you know, just keep on, like I said, just keep on, keep on smiling, keep on laughing, because, and that's the other thing, that, one more thing I do want to say. That people always tell me that like, oh, I, I'm laughing at my own jokes when I'm streaming or I'm just talking about my shit, my own self and talking to myself a lot. I'm really good at it and just laughing about anything that I see or come across. And this literally the smallest and most insignificant things just makes me. Uh, and you've seen it. Um, and I tell them I'm like it's the main thing. It's a quote I live by that I heard from someone while working on a job a long time ago, who has since passed because he was just that old at that. Point. Um. But he and it's six minutes forever. But he says laughter is happiness, and he refuses to be miserable. And that that's a wise man holds to heart for for my every day, every every way I carry myself. That's that's the leading thing. That's the that's the lead in life right there. That's how you, that's how I live it. That's how I want my community to be. That's sick. I like that. Uh, Bell esports organizations gaming clans self-value self-worth as a creator let me hear it all right so uh i'm gonna first talk about self-value and self as a uh, worth as a creator because um actually this is kind of like a topic of discussion for me my boyfriend and a couple of my close friends and mods um where i one thing about me is i'm a very opinionated person but uh, I respect other people's opinions as long as you say it respectfully, right? Like, I did a lot of unpopular opinions on TikTok. I do a lot of discussion posts, and, like, I love hearing people out. And the minute somebody starts being disrespectful, though, I don't have patience for that at all. And so, um, as a creator who... There's a bunch of big creators who are starting to notice me, which is amazing. You know what I mean? I've become a part of really awesome communities because... I got noticed and that's just fantastic and I feel so proud of myself but uh, with that there's a lot of creators out there um, who think because 
uh, their followers are in the six digits, they d automatically deserve respect or automatically deserved their ground to be kissed. You know what I mean? For mm -hmm. where they walked in, like everything. And I finally started realizing that, like, just because they're bigger than me doesn't mean I don't deserve respect, also. Right. Um, and so that has been something that I've been really, really learning and making sure other people know as well is like, yeah, there's some big fish out there and they may not like you, and that's okay. That is a okay. You don't need those people to like you to be successful on Twitch or to be successful as a content creator or anything. Like, uh, you don't need to praise the ground of somebody's um, stream or somebody's Twitter following, TikTok following, or whatever. Like, that's you don't have to do that at all. And um, I mean, I got in a couple arguments on the timeline of uh, of Twitter um, with some big creators, and I just called them out. And some took it well. Some we had a discussion. And some resorted into calling me a nobody, calling me slurs, saying that they're going to pray for me and my quote-unquote community, whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, as as a smaller creator, uh, as a growing creator, I should say, um, realizing that, you know, I still deserve that respect, I still have worth as a creator, even though my following isn't as big. Uh, really helped me kind of guide those situations and guide myself through those confrontations because at the end of the day uh, that was my space and they decided to enter it and um, my space is just as valid as theirs just because I only have double digit average viewers and they have triple digit average viewers doesn't make my content or my voice any less important Right. Um, so like that's something that I really really liked and then when it comes to esports and organizations uh, reaching out um, <sighs> that one's a little bit harder because uh, I, I was usually the one reaching out uh, and I got rejected a lot or usually because of my size or because of um, I don't have the right look which that's a whole other discussion of uh, black creators having a hard time being in orgs and groups and stuff like that, but, mm -hmm. like, that's not entirely the point right now, but, uh, like, I had a lot of those issues, but recently I've had, uh, teams reaching out to me, which is really interesting, really cool, um, however, uh, like you were kind of implying, there's a lot of people out there who do that with the intent of taking advantage of you for sure and um there is this a uh, group that offered me a contract and i'm not an idiot <laughs> and i just didn't get excited and sign it and everything because if i did uh apparently um there's a lot of things i couldn't do i couldn't uh do charity fundraisers without getting approval i couldn't do um like sponsored streams without getting approval i couldn't do collabs even with my own friends without getting approval from this quote unquote org. Like it was that controlling and I luckily decided to read that contract and I, and I could tell that these guys were preying on smaller creators to kind of mold into what they wanted um, instead of just getting people that they liked and wanted if that made sense at all. Um, so it's like my my advice is make sure if somebody offers you a contract read it read it with and if you don't understand find somebody who understands there's lawyers who will read through contracts with you for free uh there's um me i have experience with contracts due to uh my musical and teaching experience there's uh just friends in general read it over with somebody uh use a dictionary use a thesaurus whatever you need in order to make sure that you are protecting yourself because uh, as cool as it is to be on a team and how important it is to be on a team, sacrificing your individuality is not enough for that. Um, so like, it 
for the positives of being on a team, you get introduced to people that you may have never have met if you weren't on that team. You may get introduced to people uh, that, you know, if you struggle having people to collab with, you will have, like, a whole team of people who are ready to collab with you, like, all the time. Like, you don't have to worry about not having that collab. You don't have to worry about not having to, um, uh, like, beg someone to play games with you, like, which is really awesome. Uh, you get to be a part of other people's community, and those people get to become a, a part of yours. However, uh, you do have to remember that you are still your own person. Um, you know, being a part of that team shouldn't be what you only do. Like, if I was a part of a hundred thieves, for example, and they wanted me to only collab with a mm -hmm. hundred thieves people, a <laughs> hundred thieves people, uh, I don't think I would join, even though they're a huge group. But if they only wanted me to play with 100 Thieves people, no. Because at the end of the day, I still have friends. I still have people I want to collab with. I still am my own person. And, you know, I am manifesting being a part of 100 Thieves one day. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> like, um, like, if it came down to it and that was the stipulation that I could only do with, like, that contract I got, I was given says, I would choose myself uh, over 100 Thieves or over NRG or over obey whatever you know what i mean um so it's like when you're looking for teams and teams are looking for you that means you're doing something good however uh make sure that you benefit from the team as much as they benefit from having you uh you remember this is um a contract is is for two people to benefit uh to do something together that where both people benefit that's literally a definition of a contract. Uh, it's one of the stipulations of a contract. So if it's very one-sided, where the team is getting more of you than you are getting things from it, then you may need to reevaluate if you actually want to be on that team. Um, and you also need to ask yourself, who is this coming from? Uh, I think that's another one that you have to think about because as much as big streamers are cool and like, um, you get excited because somebody with a check mark followed you or somebody like with a thousand average viewers followed you there's still very evil people out there even with those big followings who are just looking to take advantage of uh smaller people or people that are um maybe less experienced and uh one of the things that like for example i i have friend i'm friends with an apex dev She's a wonderful human being, and she told me about her experiences with video game uh, companies. And uh, one of the ways they take advantage of new devs is going, Hey, don't you want to be working at Ubisoft? Don't you want to be working with Respawn, with EA, with Activision, whoever? And then they ended up taking advantage of these people and being like, Well, you don't want to say anything because you want to work here and have that big name on your resume. And then, as we see, the aftermath of people getting called out all over Twitter right now with, like, uh, different um, groups and stuff, Blizzard and everything, and everything's coming to light, like, all these people are getting taken advantage of because there's a big name attached to it. It's the same thing with stream teams. The same thing with stream teams. If uh, they're a big following and they prey on people, like, saying, hey, don't you want to have a big following like this? Don't you want me to raid you? You know what I mean? Don't you want me to shout you out in my Discord? My Discord has a thousand members in it. You know what I mean? It it you have to be very careful about what they're saying, what they're promising, and if it's sacrificing yourself for that. And uh, that's something that I I learned a little bit the hard way. Uh, and I'm now much more careful. I'm not just applying to every stream team I see because I feel like I have to get on a team. I'm now taking my time and going, okay, I could see myself being on this team, maybe. And then I discuss with those people, I did negotiate terms, and I have a little bit more of a discussion. I'm hopefully going to be joining a team soon I've been in talks with, but even then, I still have to make sure that it's the right decision for me, as well as the right decision for them. Because remember, it's you have to get 
something out of it as well. Mm. But yeah. Yeah, that was good. good. Yeah. Definitely agree with them. Well said, um, yeah, hundred percent. The the Blizzard one I know what you're talking about with like the whole like frat club thing that happened with mm-hmm. Blizzard. I was like, dude, that's yeah. fucking insane. Yep. So definitely, definitely um know your worth, definitely know the value of the place you're about to be in. Cause mm-hmm. dude, oh, that's just sad. That Blizzard one. Yeah, so at least you I had like a little insight on that too with Blizzard because I did a job, uh my IRL job. I do security basically, I run stuff um we did a job for blizzard one one of our main main guys out here in la um and i definitely got that energy from walking around the office let me be honest that's <laughs> 100 got that energy like it just like groups of dudes just sitting together just you know talking about much shit a lot of shit and you do you would see a lot of the female whoever you know office workers i don't know if they were developers or whatnot but um they would be all out you know they're on their on their own pretty conservative with what they well, you know who they were talking to around the office and what they were talking about and there was just a lot of guys being loud and you know um assertive i guess interesting this weird office environment I'd, you never really see like that You're like this isn't the office that we know that's not yeah, the tv show like, this is this is a frat party it, wasn't a team friendly environment unless you were a guy. That's basically how I that's felt. That's sad. That's yeah. that's gross. <laughs> and that's wild. But yeah, definitely good take. Definitely can agree. Um, definitely, I want to uh, address the contract thing. Definitely read your contracts because I've been contracted a couple times, and mm-hmm. there's some stuff that like teams. Make sure you keep the team accountable for what they they are saying they're going to offer you, because that's an experience mm-hmm. that I've had. It's like where they are like. I've requested to terminate a three month contract early because I didn't like the environment that I was in and I wasn't getting what I was promised. And like the moment, like the moment when you're not getting what you're promised, it's like, dude, all right, well, if you're not going to hold your end of the deal, why am I going to hold my end of the deal? What, what should I hold in place? Mm -hmm. Especially teams that you're not getting paid for right away. Like those like later on promised organizations, like, Yes, if you're there to help build something, then, like, you own part of it, you know? And, like, you're entitled to your share, but, like, be careful still. Um, For my experiences, um, I'm definitely going to talk about one of my heartbreaks that I had because you you said about about grinding for orgs for the longest time and, like, getting rejected. Um, I've been there multiple times, um, and those have always been lessons of learning your self-worth. Um... So, I've been part of probably four or five, like, teams slash orgs um, through around. Um, one of my biggest ones, um, I would say, was when I was a social media manager um, for a company called Pre-Addiction. Um, if you guys don't know who Jake Lucky is, he's, like, the big, um, he's, like, a big esports news guy. He was, yeah, like, yeah. esports talk, Jake Lucky. Um, he's now mm-hmm. part of, like, Full Squad Gaming or whatever. I used to do all their content for them. I used to post their TikToks. I used to post their tweets. I used to make thumbnails and Microsoft Paint 3D because, you know, Photoshop is, like, over my head. I would do memes and run the social media for that. I was making memes of Jake Lucky. I was talking to the internet host <laughs> for a while. Like, I knew this guy before he was ex- he, before he exploded. Um, mm-hmm. So that was part of that. Um, there was another team I was part of. Um, so, like, Sanc Sanctum, like all the smaller like sniper clans and stuff that you see, um, especially with the Warzone community now. Warzone community, you see all these like Warzone clans and stuff. I've been in my fair share of those, um, but my first contract was with a team called Arctic Uprise. Is when I was playing Call of Duty, um, and when they weren't, um, when they weren't honoring, like I was supposed to get merch, right? Like that was one of the things. Like you're supposed to get merch. Like why are you paying for your like? Like when you're on a like a, a a high school sports team or whatever and stuff or like a football team and they supply you equipment you know like they supply you with the pads stuff you got to return them at the end of the year, mm-hmm. um and you don't get the equipment and like dude it's like all right well like you, <laughs> now I'm not even like if you're not valuing your word why should I value my word? Um so that was like that was like one of the things that like was shocking to me is like I was in a three month contract with them I was supposed to create a team and make content and stuff. 
and I wasn't like I was doing all that I was gassing them up on Twitter I was sending my viewers that way sending my followers that way and I wasn't gaining I was learning that I wasn't gaining anything out of it and they weren't even holding their end of the bargain so I like pleaded with them to like end my contract um, and then oh. like my first like m I would say like B tier like there's like your S tiers are like Optic, Envy, 100 Thieves, FaZe those are like all your S tier major organizations um, from the dawn of time I would say like a step below this um, would have been the team that I was on uh, it's called Nemesis uh, Nemesis Esports um, that was the first time where I was like in an actual environment where like you were valued as a creator the you were rewarded for the hard work you do and like those are things like those are like the first team where I was like okay well I'm actually getting something out of this and I'm learning so like their like content team would get like um, like steam codes for games coming out brand new that nobody knew about like stuff like that like you were talking about how you had like that developer friend code um, with your dev friend where you got like the little rewards out of it for like making the connection and being a cool person like that's what we got too mm -hmm. Um, but there's like then there's this org that's like all right well like now your opinion's not being valued it's just all one way and those are the things you really have to worry about as a content creator um, is when you are limited to your creativity um, I remember there's a story on Twitter of one of my friends he was like yeah dude like this this product company reached out to me to make a video for them but they gave me a script and I wasn't allowed to personalize it I was like all right dude like you want me to represent your brand, but I'm not allowed to be represented while representing your brand. So it's like, you got to keep keep value up. Um, another team that I was grinding for, um, everyone everyone in my community knows it was Elevate. Um, I really wanted to bring on Apex Legends into the team. They were Call of Duty and Rainbow Six Siege only. Um, no, no Valorant, nothing. No Apex, nothing. I wanted to be that guy. I wanted to be the guy that comes onto the team, strut my stuff, and really prove to myself that I could be a really good creator, manager, um, content, uh, like director. And I really wanted to do that. And I grinded a whole fucking year. Okay. Talk about being humbled and learning your worth as a creator is grinding for a team for a whole year meeting their players, meeting their managers, meeting their creators, collaborating, and then still being told, no, you're not enough. Um, and, and it's not as deep. Like, I'm not bashing on them because it's like, it, it's a moment where it's like, all right, well, yes, like teams are great, but you got to learn the craft first, okay? And that's what happened mm -hmm. with me is like, I, I was, I got humbled. I got, I was told like, everyone is out there trying to be somebody, right? But if you are doing the same shit as everyone else, dude, you're just like a plain carbon copy. You're not going to get far. So personality is something you got to learn. You really got to learn the algorithms. You really got to learn all that stuff. And now that I'm learning all that stuff and teams are reaching out to me um, and and a team that I have joined that you guys are going to have to wait on um, till June 1st. Um, shameless plug. Uh, you have to know your value. You have to know your value. You have to know about the teams and someone finally noticed my value um and i proved my value in a meeting today um and now i'm actually getting to where i want to be um and so my advice to creators is know who your value know the team you want to be on's value and you don't need to be on a team right away like bell said with all the benefits like brands like I got a G Fuel tower back here. Like, I would shit myself if they reached out to me and they're like, dude, you got a code. We see the tower. You know you love the product. Like, I like brands like that, like reputable brands, you have to make sure they're reputable. They know what they're doing. I've been part of other brands that, like, didn't support their creators. Like, I had different – I had a drink codes for multiple companies. They didn't support their creators. They didn't care because you didn't bring in the numbers. So I threw them out. G Fuel – not that it's sponsored, but they care about the creators. They do all these contests, shit like that, you know? Um, same thing with this fucking chair, dude. I was trying to be, like, an ambassador for them. They didn't care. <laughs> yeah. They didn't care at all. Uh, the first time around with the Respawn Recruit, people were fucking breaking their chairs just to get a free one sent to them and join their team. People got tattoos of their logo permanently on their body to join that team. And I'm like, dude, 
I'm making TikToks and comedy skits and stuff, and, like, nobody gives a shit. Like, all right, dude. Well, if your brand cares about fucking... What, what is it? Um, What's the thing where it's, like, um... I'm like a, well, it's like the, the, the TikTok, or whatever, where it's like, I'm a monetary girl, dad, or some shit like that. I don't know what it's I'm a material girl. Material girl. There you go. It's like that. It's like, dude, <laughs> if you only care about like the product and not the person behind the product, it's like, dude, I don't even want to be involved, man. And that's, that was my experience with them. And I was like, all right, well, fuck me, dude. Yeah. Whatever, whatever, man. Um, so definitely make sure you know who the brands are. Make sure you know who the creators are. Um, there's a lot of fake people. It's a dog eat dog eat world in the content community, sadly. Um, just know who your friends are. Be a good person no matter what. People can be assholes. Um, and teams, as fantastic as they are, they're not necessary. There's big people. There's big content creators out there that aren't signed the orgs. But they know a lot of people. And they definitely work with a lot of brands. And you just have to be careful with all that shit. Um, and if your if your personal beliefs are uh, in subject, dude, and you don't get with it, uh, just tell the org to fuck off. Tell the brand to fuck off, like in a respectful way, of course. But it's like, yeah. don't don't sell yourself short, and don't sell out either. Um, but yeah, those are my experiences. Um, it's been a while. It's been a long coming. It's taken a lot of people to believe in me, and a lot of me proving my worth to get as far as I have. Um, and I know a lot of friends are the same way. Um, a comment that is like, where people are like, dude, like, I don't know how so and so got popular um, when so many other people deserve it. But it's like, at the same time, they did the same shit that we're doing now to get to where they are. Don't think you're entitled to it. Um, that's a problem too, is entitlement. It's like, nobody owes you anything, dude. Like, you're a guest in the space too. So be humble, be respectful, know your worth. Um, and yeah, don't don't put yourself uh, in a position where that you aren't comfortable with. Um, I actually had a friend. Um, she 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 said that a guy was um, trying to get her to join his team, and she wanted to join the team because she likes G Fuel, um, and they had G Fuel code. That was literally it. Gabe knows who I'm talking about. Um, but when she realized that this dude Fine. was just being weird about it, I was like, nah. Got to run out by me later. Um, you know her. Lethality. Oh, okay. You remember oh, that? You remember that? that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they we found out. Right. So, female content creators. Ladies, be careful. Yeah. Guys yeah. are fucking weirdos, and orgs can be weirdos, too. Okay. Yep. Not going to go into deep detail about it, but it yeah. was an instance that was brought to my attention, and I'm so sorry that that thing happened, because brands are cool and all, but if the wrong people are behind it, you could be in trouble. Um, but that's what I got. If you guys want to elaborate, share a little bit more. That's unruly sp fucking spin cycle. I've been through heartbreaking moments of learning that I'm not enough and then learning that I was enough and the right people needed to know I was enough. So if you guys have anything else to add to it, go right ahead. That's pretty much it for me. You may like it. Yeah, like orgs. I'm always thinking of you when I think of orgs. You're the one guy that, you're the org guy. You know, like it's, like like you said, you've been to the ringer with almost, like so many, so many fucking orgs. I think so. I have like four montages of me trying to join different teams. It was like on my YouTube alone, it's there's three. There's Team Six Gear. There's the Elevate one. There's the Soar Gaming one. Um, I remember when he tried to join Soar. It's like, dude, like, and then now like the prop, like the huge one that happened, just the phase one competition and like the warehouse, everyone got COVID and all kinds of crazy shit happened. It's like orgs can be ruthless to get into. And yeah. it's like, as a creator, you have to, you have to know your value and pick and choose your battles with teams because other teams and like they like face scamming, like the people with the crypto shit. Like, dude, you are a massive icon, and you do shit like that. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't want to be a creator involved in that. So definitely, yeah, nah, definitely figure that shit out early. Yeah, you got to figure out what your work's about, man. 
We got shit out if early. They pull some, if they pull some shit later on, you're part of it. You're contractually obligated to be working with their name, you know? Yeah, that's a... Oh, boy. <laughs> that, that's a carpet burn. You got scabbed up for a little bit. Yeah, you can't talk shit on your boss or you just, you know, straight up. <laughs> right, 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 right. I think that's, that's the rough part of it. But as long as you're learning through all the lessons, as long as you're learning through all the trials and tribulations, because I've learned a lot. I've learned a lot. Gotta be better, gamers. Yeah, don't be sorry. Be better. That's what I always exactly. say. Kratos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that does it for my experiences. Uh, any other uh, last minute things? We did talk about uh, quite a bit of shit. Moment, embarrassing moments, self value in teams. Uh, and e dating, cause oh, dude. From me, I haven't had any e dating experiences yet. Trying, don't get me wrong. E date, he's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> All right, dude. dude see, dude, see? Dude, that, that kind yeah. of toxicity from the oh, fucking. My gosh, dude. Hell's uh, over there. Get dude. right, dude. Hashtag cancel hell's. Like, dude, get actually, dude. Twitter. Oh, get out of dude, Twitter's not Tinder, <laughs> dude. It's not a dating app. A get a grip. <laughs> See how fast they switch up on you, dude. Uh, Crazy. Oh <laughs> no, Who's unruly again? <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Good to me, dude. Fuck that guy, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. Oh, oh dude. So much shit comes out of like online dating and stuff. It's like it's a legitimate thing, but dude, in the content space, there's so much drama and bullshit that goes around, dude. I'd be like, I'd be, I would be praying, dude. I'd be praying. I'd be like, dude, hush money. Please don't cancel <laughs> me over a breakup, dude. Like that shit's crazy, dude. There's no yeah, way especially... canceling someone for, like their line of work over like an on like online relationship is just wild. No thanks. Like especially the big guys, like big couples in, in mm. content creation, like, uh, like I can't. Imagine. We we don't need uh, we don't need a full world of Amber Heard and Johnny Depp trials and. Yeah, and we're living in that very like one of the biggest trials for that very situation. Like, don't sign yourself up for that on Twitter because like, like don't get me wrong, that shit's cute as fuck, dude. You're like, dude, I met my I wife mean, in I, an Apex lobby. I met my wife in a Valorant lobby. We went to the same Call of Duty land 10 years ago, dude. And you hit on me and boom, now we got the kids and shit. And it's like, like that shit's cool and goals hilarious. and shit. But I'm like, dude, dude, that guy, <laughs> that guy, biggest YouTube nerd, bro. And he's got one hell of a wife. He literally dude, <laughs> you got the nerdy kid with the taped up glasses snorting all the time, getting the supermodel for a wife, dude. Like, that's what happened there. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But at the same time, it's like, DM. dude, you got to be careful. You get fucking canceled out here. You'll get your uh, career ended because you said the wrong thing at the wrong time to the wrong person. Yeah, no, dude. My, I got my SIM card back when I joined Hell's Court. I was like, oh, shit, she streams? Oh, well. <laughs> dude, I Hello. Made a, Not a I reason. Made a dude, I that made that meme went YouTube through our meme. group chat for so long. The Arthur Simp card. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> From Void, dude. Oh man. I have one plastered. I got one like I'm getting one laminated. I just straight up IRL. Just carry it in your wallet, dude. <laughs> Just go to the bar and just drop that down next to your wallet. You're like, yeah. Dude. <laughs> well, yeah, dude. Here's my ID. <laughs> this is my ID. <laughs> Or you could be, or you could be the ladies where you got Pokemon card fucking binder collections of booty pics, dude. Yeah. I didn't think that was a legitimate thing, but here it is. Oh, it's a hundred percent legitimate, legitimate thing, thing dude. dude. I'm sitting here looking for blue eyes, white dragon, and the, the they're packing eyes. ass, dude. They're packing <laughs> ass. You gotta become one of the girls. Become that's one what I'm of saying, the girls, bro. Dude. Like that, my their group chat is like the only one that's not wildin', bro. I swear, dude. Uh, you you should see my other group chats, dog. Dude, what do you mean, <laughs> dude? When <laughs> I made when I made the group chat wildin', g fucking Gun Six was like, dude, not safe for work, <laughs> no chill. Oh, he chat with the monkey pox, dude. The monkey pox. Oh my gosh, there's yeah. there's a meme. <laughs> Of like the monkeypox swab that you're gonna have to do for testing, like COVID with the the nose thing. It's a meme of like getting a banana in the butt as a monkeypox swab as a joke, dude. And I posted that, dude, and I just like 
NSFW, bro. Cancel unruly, dude. Get him out, dude. Group chat's chucked. He's like, whoa. She's like, yeah, I actually have a laminated folder of Teresa's booty pics from the <laughs> bad girl's summer or hot girl's summer in 2019. I'm no, they got connects. I'm dude. in the They're wrong fucking group chat, apparently. Yeah, y'all your own plugs? Connect. Are you guys your own plugs? Oh. That's crazy. What's it called? Hashtag self promo. Hashtag uh, follow me on Twitch. I'm yeah, link in uh, bio. Hashtag, yeah, hashtag link in bio. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag my TikToks are, are goaded. Hashtag. Yeah. Best oh, I'm a good I'm a good content creator. Oh. I think I could do this. Yeah, you gotta stop you? yourself there. Yeah, hold up. Let me go through with it. Yeah, well, oh, like... You did? Oh, thank you. My, <laughs> like, my... Okay, so my B button on my keyboard is also to mute because of my foot pedal. So, like, I'm cutting myself off mid-conversation just to <laughs> do shit like this. Yeah, dude, you post it on Facebook randomly. And after you... I forget, like, just decided to look on Facebook one day and I saw you, you posted about your stream. I was like, there's no way... There's no way she streams, bro. Yeah, I was like dead ass. I streamed, and you were like, no fucking no way. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. No Here's five subs. <laughs> Literally, you came in and gifted five subs, and then like, like what's up with like, it? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That was yeah, because we hadn't talked to each other up until that point. After high school, yeah. that was pretty much it. Yeah, because you freaking moved on without me. And everybody moved on without me. What do you mean? I went to Valley, bro. dude. Nah, that capped my ass, dude. He's like, dude, you didn't have a kid through high school. You're irrelevant. We'll see you later. <laughs> Literally, though. That's crazy, dude. That's, that's wild. Nah, you're you're one of the only ones that stuck in my memory when I went when I left. Shit. Rent free. Was, you hear that? that was, Rent so fucking free. March 18th, an hour ago. Or what's it called? A year ago. Ugh, wow. Tired. A year ago, streaming besties, dude. There you have it, chat. Streaming Hell besties. Yeah. You were like, you were like, what? I, why didn't I know about this? I'm going to follow like, now. Hey. Oh, He's like, <laughs> hey, 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 you like Twitch the... Prime like I do? <laughs> <laughs> I flew to the tag. You were playing, oh, uh, you were playing Wolf Among Us. I was. I did See, an entire I remember all that. Stream. Mm -hmm. Crazy, dude. See goals, chat. But don't we were, make it weird. We were gonna, huh. uh, we were gonna do Wolf Among Us and then switch to Apex, but then everybody was like digging Wolf Among Us so hard that like I just finished Wolf Among Us in one stream. Really? It was exhausting. Yeah. Eight hour stream of Wolf, Wolf Among Us, finished yeah, the game, you... and then got off. Oh, damn, peace stream for a long Eight hours, bro. I remember doing a 24 hour stream for Modern Warfare 2019 when it came out, and that game's fucking oh, horrible. <laughs> game's horrible. 14 hours for that day one Destiny raid. Fucking, that was the longest one I've ever done. Yeah, dude, Destiny people are rough. built different. Oh, built gosh. different, I don't bro. Understand, bro. <laughs> They're a cult of their own, dude. Really the are. longest stream I've done is a twelve-hour stream. I think. Yeah. Twelve, dude. I remember when I did my, uh, I did my twenty-four. I'm gonna be dude. doing so a subathon for my birthday in August. So. There you go. There you are. Not only do you should you check out our Twitch and all our socials, is dude. <laughs> August, there's a subathon. Subathon. Oh yeah, dude. I've never done a subathon. I wouldn't know what to do. I feel like, as cool as subathons are, dude. I feel like people always get bad vibes with subathons. Like, yo, it's a fucking cash grab. I'm like, nah, dude. You're actually buying the content that you're enjoying. So. Yeah, exactly. Your Netflix subscription is no different than subbing to my channel and watching me absolutely smack the shit out of myself with a cream pie. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Like oh, Except you, Netflix is more expensive you, and has You gave less me five dollars. You gave me five dollars, and now you get to get watch me shave my head. Oh my god! And draw an arrow and call myself the Avatar. Like, <laughs> dude, that's the content that. Yeah. That's hilarious. Subathons are sick, head, bro. dude. I, I couldn't. Do, like, I actually couldn't thousands. imagine myself bald. You I would catch me wearing a hat for a year before I could like. Yeah, no. It'd slip off. If you wear those dad hats, though, so it would just, like, it would hug it, you know? It would, dude. It would. It would hug it really well. I actually really like my Under Armour dad hat, so don't judge me. Okay. Oh, I, I wore it today, dude. I wore it today while I was cutting grass. <laughs> I was a dad. I was a dad cutting grass, dude. Yeah, you're, gonna be, you're definitely going to be the tall socks dad. 
All socks and sneakers, bro. <laughs> I do, dude. Hello, man. Come on, dude. <laughs> All the way Come up the calf, dude. Come on now. Sheesh, I dude. Than the Nikes, dude. dude. <laughs> I would be the guy, dude. You know they have like sock holsters, right? They have sock like, holsters. Like, like um, well, like the fucking overalls to keep your pants up. They have them for uh -huh. socks. I would oh, rep that boy. shit so hard, dude. I would rock that shit so socks hard, dude. Extension. If you, yeah, dude, they have sock extensions, bro. Not even. Not even bullshitting you. Job. Well. No, it's not sock. It's sock. Extension. What do you think I am? Fucking Home Depot guy? <laughs> yes, you are. It's season 8 theme of Apex. <laughs> Home Depot. What is it? Fucking Fuse's theme song. <laughs> I liked Fuse's theme song, oh, so I pointed that out, and then I was like, damn it, bro. Oh, yeah, we're about to... Where's the electrical eye? <laughs> oh, the guy's so broken. He's so fun to play. I've He's... been having a blast oh. with Rampart, bro. Oh, yeah, it's all wild. I just get, what's it called, like, four ultimate accelerants, and then I only use Sheila. Yeah, dude. She's been wild. I love her on King's Candy because he landed in Capacitor and just, he instantly got the best gun in the game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're fine. Let me go in with Sheila. Dude, so like... Guys. Dude. I'm trying to find an image that's not like... That's appropriate to show on Twitch because apparently it's common in the sex industry. Oh, yeah. I know that. Yeah, I don't know, but... <laughs> This is a garter. Uh, it's a, like a, this is for like thought for like thigh highs. I've seen garters, yeah. Yeah, but they have they have these for socks, chat. They have these things for socks. A little lower down. <laughs> he has excessive content. Like, I'm just <laughs> all I'm all I'm thinking is that they I'm actually really have. Thigh highs. Whoa, bro, dude, the R two D two thigh highs stay on, dude. Yes, sir. They actually like literally like ratchet straps for your socks, dude. I would rock those, dude. Not even <laughs> bullshitting, dude. You you catch me walking into a store with ratchet strap sock straps, dude. <laughs> I'd rep that shit oh, so no hard, way, dude. Bro. So hard. The R two D two thigh highs, dude. Yep, that clip's legendary. <laughs> but all right, any more closing arguments uh, or comments to be said? Shout outs if you guys would like to. Um, just like um, in the previous episode, socials will be in the description. Your guys' Twitter handles have been up for two and a half hours so people know where to find you but fucking remind them where to get the good content from guys shameless plugs follow my, go follow my tiktok uh at hell's bells for the spiciest apex content yeah i like i like um, the uh unpopular opinions to we talked about revenant i'm like if you make sixty thousand people start <laughs> playing revenant dude i'm gonna fight you Straight up, man. Straight yeah, like, yeah, Revenant takes skill, and it's like, Revenant dude, you need two lives to play a battle royale. I said Revenant's ass. And dude, I'm gonna was, fight, like, bro. For my neck, bro. Yeah, dude. I was just dude, like, it's an unpopular opinion for a reason. Get off my nuts. Yeah, unpopular ratio is about to come this way. If all you make more Revenant means, dude. Or like, <laughs> right, or like Rampart, dude. Dude. Like, dude. Oh, yeah. She's right. like, I have the power, my friend. She's the like, I my have, unruly. I have my community, and I will make it to a living hell to play Apex. <laughs> I will send the sworn, my friend. She'd be like, listen, <laughs> like, be like, make the a, best uh, clip, rampart. the best Rampart clip, yeah, <laughs> goes on my TikTok. Everyone go play Rampart, and I just best Rampart clip gets a thousand Apex coins. Yeah, and then if I run into fucking six ramparts in a pub, I'm gonna freak my shit out. And if you find <laughs> and kill unruly, it's an extra, it's an extra thousand apex coins. Yeah, you're exactly. All right, I'll be sure, teabagging yeah. him. <laughs> if I get dude, like you be... find and kill a unruly and teabag the box, a thousand apex coins, bounty, putting a bounty on unruly. Honestly, dead. the person that does it, I'd talk so much shit to. <laughs> I'd be like, you're doing this for clout, my stream sniping nerd. <laughs> 
You're gonna be like, why is there 20 viewers in my chat all of a sudden? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. No <laughs> need. <laughs> all right, where do we find Horns' content at? When this guy's uh, back from TikTok his hiatus. And, TikTok and Twitter, you got it at Horns Up for uh, Twitter. You got TikTok for the cringy, cringy weird Destiny content. You know, we got a little variety there and there. Twitter, you want to check out some personal stuff. You want to check out some simpage and uh, you'll get some. Definitely. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, at twitch.tv/slash horns for my uh, obviously Twitch and variety streams. We will we'll be back soon. I do have plan to come back very soon. Hopefully things are dying. Dude, out. Stream Elements is so biased. I literally did that shout out and did nothing. <laughs> did nothing. It's underneath the other one. I'm like, bro. What? Stream Elements is a simp, man. Dude, that's <laughs> But there you guys yeah. have it. In the Twitch chat is the links for their content. Their Twitter handles have been up here. Get on that shit. Follow their content. Go to their link trees. Go to their media kits when they're done with this. Because media kits is amazing, dude. It's yeah. literally your own personal. One. It's literally your own streamer website. Literally. And your analytics are there, too. Fuck you and YouTube, buddy, when you can go to media kits. But like, that's oh, some yeah. killer content. Um... Their TikToks are all there. You know it. You go find them. You give them fucking some love, um, especially those from the Unruly Nation. Um, and, yeah, any closing arguments before we wrap this up? You guys know where to fucking find him. Give them some love. Enjoy their content. Let them know. If you enjoy their if you enjoy their content, let them know. They need to hear it. They need to hear it. I need to hear it. Dude, if I suck, you better fucking tell me I suck. You Get suck. Out of here. You suck, man. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Call me Dyson. Yes, sir. Pause. Oh, my God. I'm Pause. To now, you know. Dude, dude, I'm going to rally. You know? <laughs> dude, rally North Carolina. about to go crazy. <laughs> Anything else before we uh, close it up? Uh, pineapple doesn't go on pizza. Let's go. Yeah, I agree. Dude, exactly. what? Dude, pineapple Tacos and ham? Are the best kind of food. Mayo is a good instrument. Dude. Oh, okay. Get the fuck out of here. Cereal uh, is uh, actually <laughs> soup. Cereal is not soup. Yes, it is, bro. No, dude, cool. dude. Cereal. My, my soup favorite isn't a meal. soup. Soup is a meal. Dude. Soup isn't a meal. Water is soup. <laughs> Waters. Dude, <laughs> Pop Tarts are breakfast calzones. <laughs> <laughs> Pineapple Pastries, freezing. damn it. Dude, they're breakfast calzones. What do you mean? <laughs> All right, losers. I got to go pick up something. So. All right, All right. guys. Appreciate everyone stopping by tonight. Uh, this yeah. is the episode two of the Unruly Cast podcast. Um, we'll be back. Um, got to make these more often, dude. There's a month hiatus between the two of them. Boom, boom, firepower. Flexing on us, bro. Dude, don't make me bust out the gym folder. <laughs> Appreciate to everyone in chat stopping by tonight. Much love, everyone. Again, give these creators some love. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the topics tonight, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace, peace.